Welcome back to Good Moms, Bad Choices. I'm Erica. And I'm Mila. Happy Wednesday, bitches. Oh, hi. Wow, that big dunk. Happy hump day, bitches. Hi. Hi. Are you okay over there? I'm good, yes. Discombobulated? I am, because I'm in a new set. If you're on YouTube right now, you'll see that we're somewhere else. We're in a magical place in the forest. Of Shan Boudram's house. Yeah! <laughs> the magical Shan Boudram backyard. This setup looks familiar. It's because you watch her show. <laughs> um, hey, you guys. Hi. What's going Welcome on? Welcome to the show, you guys. So we have Shan Boudram and Jared. Hey. Wait, Jared, what's your last name? Brady. 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 Oh, yeah, duh. Uh, wow, I feel we're so lucky. We've had, we've had Shan on. Was it this year? It's no, Shan. we haven't had Shan on since we did Shan like a long time ago. We weren't on her show. Oh. The other house. Yeah. Yeah, it's been a We minute. haven't had Shan on since she became a mom. Uh, oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. We just had Jared just on not too long ago. Yeah, so. just fucking Jared. <laughs> God. We love you, Jared. <laughs> Where he shamed the single mothers. Oh, yeah. I <laughs> hey, they was rocking with me. What you mean? They knew what I meant. <laughs> you have to know Jared to know that he came home so stressed out about that. <laughs> oh, no. Was like, there was this moment... <laughs> and I just, you know, I hope they know what I meant. And I was cracking the fuck up. I was like, well, what? <laughs> of course, knew what they knew what I meant. <laughs> oh my God. Make sure you check out that um, episode. It was in June where we were highlighting the, the fine zaddies. Vine zaddy June. Yeah. And this this month we're highlighting all the couples we know. And so it's cuffing season November because <laughs> we aspire to be married women. We want to be good wives. So we're getting all the advice. Do you aspire to marriage? Yes. I don't know if I aspire. That feels like, I don't know if I'm aspiring for it. But if it happens, great. Sign me up. <laughs> <laughs> Give me that ring, goddammit. No, I really want to just have the party and wear the dress. I think I'm traumatized. I had the ring. It oh, work right. out. I, uh, let's just make sure what works first. It's all kind For of, a long period of time. It's, yeah, I guess that, that would be some real. I aspire to have a long period of time relationship that works and is healthy. Amen. Hey. Because marriage is not the goal if it's not healthy. Mar- marriage is a social construct. It is, and especially for women. Well, it's it's also like for it's the government. It's you can't have certain rights. It's just, I mean, it's all types of shit. But I'm so happy you guys are married. <laughs> oh, we're so happy we're married. Yeah, we're, we're, we're every we're tax glad. season. <laughs> so <laughs> happy. Perfect. <laughs> when did you guys get married? 2018. Were you guys okay? I guess you guys had just gotten married when we did that first episode. Back in the Dizzy, we stalked Shan very hard, and we were successful. And you guys brought over the hottest dude to my home. Oh yeah! Shout out to uh, and then he fell, he fell asleep during he the was episode. Like, oh, he Hardwick. fucked our shit up. Was it was it was it boring or why probably did he fall for, like, for probably a guy? For, maybe I don't know. He fell asleep and then like stopped recording for like ten minutes of the episode. I almost fucking oh, cut him. And then we had to put damn. in like all these video, like all these other videos that didn't make sense. <laughs> And we're like, what the fuck are you doing? He's Brand? redeemed himself tenfold. He though, really has. Then. He's done like everything for us since then. He did like our intro video. If you hey. guys just saw that, he's bomb. He yeah. is fine too. He's our friend's husband. Oh. <laughs> Not, no. She was like, who the fuck you bring to my house? We're like, yeah, girl, you're welcome. <laughs> All our friends is fine. <laughs> How are you guys doing? We're great. We're uh, we're half asleep. You know, two two children now. Two Try- under two. Yeah, two under two. And uh, that's it. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah. I feel like sure? my life is one run, like run, one run. Look at you. Look at me. Look at look me. At, this look is at it. You. That's how I'm doing. <laughs> run, run, run. I answer the question. One long run, rerun. It's one long run on sentence. Mm. Yeah. Like there's never a comma or a pause. You know how like little kids talk? Do your kids talk like that? Where it's yeah. Like, and, actually, then, and then I went to here and then my friend. My friend oh my God. Went, Last night in the bed, my daughter was talking to me about Twitches. You know, have you seen this show with Tia and Tamara? It's this new show. Yeah, oh, no, movie. no, it's a movie. A movie. That's an Girl. old. That's an oldie. Oh, they brought it back. Oh, they brought it I back. I think it's just on Netflix because it's for it's Halloween season. Well, they brought it back, and she was telling me about it before she went to bed, and she was half awake, and she was like delirious, and she's and then and then and then and I was like, what? She just <laughs> kept talking. I was like, I'm lost, but that's our life, right? That's now. my yeah. life. Yeah. Exactly. That's the our life look, with the expression too. on your face, uh-huh. all of yeah. it. That's life. <laughs> <laughs> are the babies sleeping through the night yet? Sometimes we'll get a magical night, you know, sometimes. But uh, uh, most of the time, like, they're tag teaming. They're machine gunning us right now. Oh, wow. So one will, one will kick up, then the other one will be like, all right, I'm chilling. And then once that other one starts chilling, then the other one will kick up. So it's, like, constantly, like, you know, full put, full court press right now. Mm. We're in a really unsexy sleep situation right now, too. Yeah, it's trash. Um, we don't sleep together anymore. No. Nope. What? One of us sleeps with the newborn and one of us sleeps with the 1.8 year old. So, and that's because if you don't, then no one will sleep. Well, 
the yeah essentially <laughs> yeah, yeah. if we're all if we're either all in one room or they're in separate rooms like you can't get to them fast enough for that well they'll wake the other one yeah. up or they'll be too awake oh yeah. that's true they're gonna wake the other one up and then everyone's fucked yeah, yeah. okay so, we want to get out of this world right now it's yeah, not we, a pleasant we, place but yeah we didn't do the sleep training mm -hmm. oh no you gotta, I, everyone says that but i'm like how the fuck do you train sleep like i don't you let know them but cry. people do it you cry and, you let them cry it out i'm yeah. surprised shan's not on it she seems like she'd be militant it as does fuck. seem like that but i'm actually not that parent at all okay but um i wish i was wait when's your birthday again april 2nd you're aries yeah and then what are you jared i'm a libra okay oh your birthday just passed yeah yeah october 7th okay oh yeah happy birthday um but we haven't been sleeping in like we had our daughter sleep with us for a long ass time so we've been like sex outside of our own bed the other day we had sex in the bed and jared was like this feels like the erotic thing yeah, this is this was back home i was yeah, like what this is like the like oh uh, our relationship sex. is gone <laughs> <laughs> what happened so that's how it felt but it was nostalgic it felt like high school all over again not the bed like the fact that we don't have sex in a bed because i think it forces us to reinvent sex a lot. But where do you usually yeah, have where's, where's, places? Where's in the a closet? Really? You know, couches? You know, like, like, yeah. does it, you're like, come in here. Or yeah. it's like, yeah. Shan is like hanging up her shirts and then you're like, hey baby, and like grab her ass or like what? No, it's just like, it's yeah, <laughs> essentially, yeah. But it's just like, we're, we're, we'll find a moment, both kids down for a nap. Take it. One sleeping on one floor, the other one sleeping on the other one. So we have to get inside the closet, mm. you know? So it just kind of, we would make it do what we can. Yeah. I was saying that this joke because like now I feel more confident with people laying on my bed. If you're sitting on a chair, I might feel some guilt of like what splashed there last night. <laughs> but if you're on my bed, I'm like, this is the safest space in the house. The most wholesome place in the house is our bed. As I'm sitting on this chair. Right. Yeah. Like, no, I mean this I'm one like, this was a little this one's a little uncomfortable. I was so like, this was this, this might be a good spot. You're outside. Yeah. I mean, have like, you guys had sex in here? This is a good spot. No, no. So we can't hear them. No, and you don't have yeah. the monitor with the we, voices on it? We do. But we always don't ever turn it on. You got to yeah. turn the cameras yeah. on and just hit play. Yeah. yeah. Thank you for the cameras. Yeah. 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 Oh, there we go. Hey, this might be a nice little idea. <laughs> <laughs> Only fans here. Here y'all come. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't, if shit goes south, there's always Only fans. You know? I, think, like, I would pay to see porn? I would pay. I don't know, but I would pay to see it. <laughs> It was three camera angles. I don't know why I would pay. I would just be like, I want to see what they're doing over there. Because <laughs> it would be vague. Now I'm thinking about you guys having sex. <laughs> You should. you should. In this exact setup. Too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Shan bent over the good table. mom's bad choices shirt. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys are watching, they both have our shirts on and yeah. they, they look like they're going to Disneyland. It's very, it's beautiful. It's like giving like Kanye Disney. Yeah, we're, we are going to Disneyland. <laughs> Disney. You know, the brown nudes. Yeah, you know, we're right. Now we're trying to recruit you guys to go to Disneyland together. Like we should just go together because there's no point to go as both going separately. Yeah. Well, Come. especially if we have to all pay for a chauffeur. Like if we all pay a thousand dollars, then we all can we just could pool one of those people. I yeah. can't confirm that it's five thousand dollars, but the last time <laughs> I went, it's probably like five thousand dollars a ticket. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was five thousand dollars for the special escort, but I went that way like five times, and I like literally never want to go. I used to have like a really rich friend. She was a fucking bitch, but. <laughs> Those Disneyland perks? I was like, maybe I should keep the friendship. You did keep the, is this a, is this She did thing? keep the friendship for a while. I was like, literally <laughs> for the Disneyland <laughs> I perks. I was like, bitch, we're I'm not to, kidding. I was like, I'm going to go to Disney World. She's like, you can't be friends with her anymore. Was, she's like, she's a horrible person. I was like, I She's know. like, just one more Disney season. <laughs> I was yeah. like, no. I did. I fought for it. I'm like, she sleeps with your lovers no I was like, I oh that like, kind of horrible person uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh wow okay like a dirty yeah. i think it's like a, go like a gossiper or something no, uh, no. it's worse just like that all too, the bad probably. things yeah all the bad things yeah, yeah well that's not good but i, I want to see the price <laughs> i want to see the price first um and then we'll just decipher yeah, decide if I can... from there like how valuable this person jared's should be. <laughs> front right now because jared loves spending money you know, what you're talking about no i but i was like i want to see the price to see if like i can actually upheld that because once i experienced that I don't know if you'll, I'll be able to go back. You'll, you'll, yeah, you'd be like, you fuck it. We'll just be friends. You know what I mean? It's like first class. <laughs> I've never done first class. You haven't? You've never? Yes, because of if I can't do first class every, every time. time. I just, it is a, it does a I don't even want to know what it's like. I just want to dream about it. it is, you, know? you know what? It, it is fucked up. It's fucked up because I have flown first class many a time and I've also flown economy. Like, back, just, like the deep, deep economy. <laughs> yeah. like, deep economy. Like basically spirit. And I've basic, done, basic I've economy. I've also done spirit. Oh yeah. my God, I did too. Sometimes I'd be looking at Spirit sometimes. Because it's like, like $200 I'm less. I'm like, it's only a two-hour flight. It's $20. Yeah, can I just thug it out? But you're never going to land on time. Well, <laughs> actually, I've done it. Like, the, the last couple of times I, like, did it. And we landed on time. We actually left. And Orlando took my braids out on the plane. And I was like, this is the perfect place. Wow. No yeah. one's going to judge me. <laughs> <laughs> 
That's a commercial for Spirit. <laughs> and they have cup of noodles. So. You're at home here. Uh. You are- <laughs> Oh, my God. So, wait. So, how far into being married did you have Ryu? Two years? Two years? Yeah. Yeah. And was she, like, did you plan on having a baby that into? Because yeah. how long were you together before you got married? It was a while, right? Mm-hmm. Three years? Two years? We met in 2014, technically. We m- didn't talk for a year. 2015, we started as fuck buddies. And then 2016, we moved in together. 2018, we got engaged. 2018, we got married. Mm. Oh, you got engaged and married in the same year? Yep. Mm. Sharon was not fucking I was around. I to go. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to marry me, God I was, it. Marriage was not just an aspiration. It was like, we're doing this. Yeah. It was very, marriage was very important to you. It was. I mean, by virtue of what I do for a living, it was just extremely important to me. Why? I mean, why, why, why? Why? Because what you do for a living? Because I talk about intimacy. And so I was. I always use this analogy that I explained to Jared that in essence, like I think as a as a woman, you're socialized to think that marriage says a lot about you as a romantic partner. And I talk about romance for a living. And so if I don't have a ring, that signifies something to my audience about me as a romantic partner. So I'm like, I think for men, you're socialized to think that your car represents your level of success, right? Like what kind of car you have dictates where you're at in the world. This says something to other people, unfortunately. So I was like, imagine you have your dream job, you've got millions of dollars in the bank, but you're still driving a Honda Civic. You can afford and you live a Jaguar lifestyle, whatever your dream car is. You're in that. You have that money, but you're still driving around the Civic. It didn't make any sense. So I was like, we have a Lamborghini relationship, but I'm still driving around with the Civic. Mm. And I'm pulling up, getting giving Civic energy to people. Mm. And I don't like that feeling. So Do you still feel that way that you felt then? Like that you felt like that was necessary for the job that you're in? Or do you feel like I that? I do. 100%. I can't even tell you how much of an impact it's made in my career. Really? Massive. So it was... Your marriage was obviously because you love Jared and you want to be married, but also it was part of, it was like a business deal. Yeah. Essentially. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it was like the masters yeah. to your degree. Well, it's like it's like you have a you have a great you have a great relationship and it didn't make sense for the the marriage doesn't change your relationship at all. Well, it shouldn't. So that's what they but, say, but then they say it, then it does. But it doesn't. And it doesn't do anything to between you you and your your significant other. So it's like one of those things where it's like all right, if we have a great relationship, we don't plan on making this end. Why do, are we not getting married? Why are we not committing on that level? It just didn't make any sense not to. It wasn't like a situation where there's like, I've always dreamed to be married or I always dreamed to do this. But it was a situation where it was like, okay, let's be real. When you are married, when I introduce Shan, hey, this is my wife, it hits different mm. than this is my girlfriend. It just hits different. Bitch, our podcast is going to be more successful if we get married. I probably, I guarantee it probably made <laughs> I'm like, I me. Never, I never thought about well, it. We won't be like single parents anymore, though. We'll be more I feel, respectable. I, I feel like it's going to ruin our business. We're going to be more respectable. They're going to be like, oh, they talk about sex and their moms, but they're married. Oh, well, do we have to get married at the same time? Like, <laughs> Maybe we have a double like, wedding. <laughs> but it could be the opposite. Some people, it yeah, takes it their brand. It I was going to say, yeah, it's really bad for the brand. I don't know. Yeah, it doesn't matter. You get married in private. And like it's individual, is. right? Yeah. It's, it's individual, but it's at the same time. It's like, if you think about... Um, Kind of like what you were saying at the top about how marriage is it sucks for uh, single people because they have no rights, right? And then when a married couple is a married, they have so many more rights. It's easier for if you guys are just in a relationship and somebody dies, it's easier for the government to access that bank account than your girlfriend or your or your boyfriend. Crazy. And so it, your your husband or your wife actually has protection in that way. So I just look at it like, yeah. Is, is is are we getting married for the love and our relationship is great? Yes, we are, but at the end, at the same time, it was it was analytical. Insurance, yeah. I mean, because commitment... it, cause essentially it is a business deal anyway. Yeah. Well, to me, that's going to say us opening up. We got incorporated together yeah. in 2017, so we made shared entertainment like our our corporation, which means like we were pooling finances. That's a way bigger commitment to me than marriage. It made a big impact on our relationship. It changed our dynamic completely. Us moving in together changed our dynamic completely. Us having kids changed our dynamic. But like getting married, it was like... Uh, same it thing. changed everything for the way people viewed us. Yeah, mm. which is why the decision to get truth. married was all about other people's perception and less about what we felt and shared. Yeah. I knew that Jared was my life partner really early into our relationship. Yeah. Yeah. When did you know? I remember we were driving like explicitly. I can't remember like what time maybe. It was like a year and a half in. But we were driving at night one day and I have this memory... And I remember turning to him and being like, you're the first person that I feel like I don't have to audition for Mm. in my whole life. Like, I don't have to constantly try to prove to you that I'm a good person or that I'm worthy. Like, there's just this inherent trust no matter what I shared with Jared or who I 
was or wasn't that day that I was accepted and understood. I have never in my life experienced that. And I'm like, I would be an idiot to let this go. Mm. So that's when I knew this with my life partner, that I would do whatever possible to keep Jared in my life the rest of my life. When did you know, Jared? So mine wasn't as magical <laughs> <laughs> as this. But there was a moment where where Shan tweeted out um, that she doesn't have agape love or it was something like on the lines of that it's it i wrong. said i'm learning so much <laughs> when we were just fuck buddies i was dating a lot of people yeah and so i said in a tweet i'm learning so much about love not being an eros love yes that's like what it was yeah a deep romantic love yeah and so at the time like i was like what does that mean <laughs> so i looked, now you encrypting her two tweets i looked it up and i i read what eros meant and i was like thinking about our relationship at the time and i was like I think that we have Eros love. <laughs> and so that's when I kind of like put two and two together and really like looked at the relationship and how much we were enjoying each other. Because at the time we were just fuck buddies. So it was kind of like, uh, I would say a a faux pas to admit that you love your fuck buddy. But I was like, this is what I feel and this is what we're experiencing right now. I think we have that. And now that's when I you know texted her. I was like, are you sure about this? Were you were you subtweeting to get a reaction? No. Yeah, she didn't. Let me see that happen. 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 Let me and Eros like, <laughs> but what happened though? We read it, so right. Well, I don't know. Just get busy, Jared. I don't know why it's so free. <laughs> but I did not yeah, subtweet yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, did you want to let us start off as fuck buddies? Um, uh, no. We just went right in. Like he, um, hey, huh? <laughs> I don't know why Jared gave a sound effect. That. <laughs> hey, I'm like, is that the wrong answer? Nah, he said, hey, like, oh, we. Oh, wow. I, he um came out here. We did a podcast together. He came out here, and I was not like. I thought he was cute, but I wasn't into it. I was also doing like a lot of like finding myself and hoeing and I was doing too much. And I was like, you need to sit down, bitch. You need to not fuck with anyone. And then he came out here and he was like really trying. And I was like, he's not my type. It's like, it's a lot of, he's really extra. Was he wearing a crop top? He was. <laughs> and I was like, I don't fuck with that crop top. I was like, I'm confused. And my daughter was like, why are you wearing that shirt? <laughs> I was like, shh. He wants to wear it. <laughs> I don't know why, but shh, it's rude. Um, but like he was here for like five days. And by like the first two days, we did mushrooms for the first, like together. I was like, have you done mushrooms before? He's like, no. I was like, come over. And then I didn't think he was going to take the bait. And then at like 11 o'clock oh, at night. Oh, you did mushrooms with him for his first time? And he, I thought he was going to like cancel because he was in Santa Monica. I was in the Valley. And he's like, I'm ready. And I was like, fuck. I was like, okay. And then he came over and he was being so strange. And he was like. Well, he's on mushrooms. Yeah, but I was, I guess I wasn't that mushroomed out. I was like, I can't wait to tell Erica about this shit tomorrow. I was literally like, <laughs> note to self, tell Erica about she this. Did. I came over to Shan's she one, did tell one time me. when She's I was like, high off, off mushrooms. never believe he just wouldn't stop talking about himself and how <laughs> I deserved him. I was like, it was so strange. And then two days later, I was like, I really fucking like him. She's like, what happened? I was like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It was all that talk, that self affirmation talk. Talking so much. And then, yeah, by the end of the trip, I before he left, I was like, we had sex. And I was like, hey, I'm going to Mexico for a week next month. Do you want to come? And he's like, okay. And then I was like, and then I was like, why did I do that? I don't even know this motherfucker. I want to spend a week in Mexico with him. And it just so happened we had like the best, most magical fucking time in Mexico with like all of my friends, my closest friends, minus Erica. And then like by the end of the trip, we were like, listen, I don't know. We're not going to be together. We're going to different sides of the country. I was there. Oh, I don't know why I thought you weren't there. Oh, Ashley, me, the Ashley. Fuck? Sorry, I thought Ashley wasn't there. <laughs> and by the end of the trip, we're just like it. Kind of, I was like, I know we're going our separate ways, but yeah. we kind of had an understanding that like we were bonded for life because I um he had a blood kink, and um I oh, let we, we heard about this. Yeah, yeah I let him put. We, I let him pour. No, I didn't know that was you though. His blood on my chest and put his initials on my chest. I don't know why. I was like, okay, you want to do that? And after that, I was like, we have a blood bond. So basically, we're, you're with me forever. This and is a real Pam Anderson and Tommy <laughs> Lee story. Yeah. <laughs> the whole thing. Like, yeah. Going to Mexico. Like, didn't that happen for them? I think they went to Cabo. Yeah, yeah. And we were yeah. in Cabo. Yeah. yeah. And we, yeah, he put his blood on him, his initials and blood on my chest. And then for a year, we like dated long distance, but like I was seeing other people. He was seeing other people. We would like talk on the phone and shit. 
And and then a year later, we ended up being in a relationship. Uh, open do you have a, a blood kink? Um, now I do, I guess. I mean, and then I I, did, I returned the favor. You, you got oh, you did it back. My period blood, yeah. Oh, okay. That's well, good. I felt like what the fuck? You're gonna I'm gonna be bonded to you. Now you need to do do. Now I need to do you, yeah. <laughs> but he <laughs> went all and he cut himself. He yeah. cut himself. I just just got the so blood. So next step, I, are you gonna are you gonna do it? Uh, I don't really want to cut myself. Oh, that makes sense. Neither yeah. do I. I don't, I don't. I'm not like an emo teenage girl. <laughs> <laughs> Trigger <laughs> warning. It's not necessary. Um, well, that's yeah. interesting. That's yeah, cool. So, yeah. So it was kind of pretty immediate, but also not exclusive. And also it was open for a minute. And then in June, we decided to be monogamous. Okay, oh, interesting. congratulations. Are you guys monogamous now? <laughs> not congratulations. <laughs> I guess. I mean, right? Yeah, no, yeah, we are. We are. So you guys going to get married soon then? Probably, yeah, he said, give me the thumbs up. I just got my ring finger fitted. Wow. Hey. Are we getting an exclusive right now? <laughs> yeah. Or is it? Are we, are we just, are we just, this is the first I've heard of this. Uh, I yeah. told you. you. I didn't know married soon. You just no, said you went, I mean, not you soon. Just, not you, soon. Relax. You just said, yeah. I said, <laughs> it's happening. Just like the kids, it's happening. I don't, I, but time is relative, bitch. That's beautiful. <laughs> not the fear coming in again. I love this. This is what she did for like six months every time someone asked she had a boyfriend. Oh. Uh, Relax, relax. I love this. I love this. Cool. You guys have been hitting us, asking us so many questions about the Good Vibe Retreat. So we thought we'd take a minute and just fill you in so you get all the details that you need to know. The question that a lot of people ask us is, what is the Good Vibe Retreat and why did we start it? So the Good Vibe Retreat is a retreat for women to come, relax, let go, release, and kind of step away from their normal scheduled routine, get to know women from all over the world, and really tap in and back into yourself. It's an opportunity to reinvent yourself, essentially. You don't know a lot of these women, so there's really no one there to judge you. So you can kind of create this new version of yourself, step into what it feels like to be yourself when you're not feeling judged, when you're not feeling pressured, when you're really in the most feminine and divine space to really do the work on yourself. For sure. I mean, I think as women, we do so much shit for other people on a regular daily basis. We're at work, we're momming, we're girlfriending, we're wifing. And um, a lot of times we get lost in the sauce and we forget to take a step back and really hone in on who we are and who we want to be and what that looks like. Um, and just kind of a place to get away from this fucking rat race and ground down with nature and with women and with yourself, most importantly. Treat yourself pamper yourself, be pampered, get super relaxed. And um, honestly, just take time for yourself without the input of anybody else. We also really recreated this retreat because we wanted to make something where you really didn't have to think about anything. We've literally done all the work for you. All you really have to do is just show up. Buy a plane ticket and show up. Everything else is taken care of. We've literally taken care of transportation. You'll be receiving gourmet meals every day. Um, all of the activities, we even have add-on activities like psilocybin experiences. We have- Natal chart readings, massage. Excursions, beach trips, um, you don't have to smoke weed, but we got that too if you need it. Um, you don't have to come with a friend. This is an experience that we encourage you to come even alone. You can bring a friend, but most of the women come alone. And also, a lot of people are asking, like, do you have to be a mom? I know we are good moms, bad choices, but no. This is about being a woman first. This is about leaving those kids back home and doing you. So even if you don't have kids, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how old you are. We've had women from as young as 20 and as, as old as 60. We also you don't have to be black <laughs> or brown. There's no race that is not invited to the Good Vibe Retreat. Everyone is accepted. Um, as long as you're there to be open to the process and try something new, then you're invited to the Good Vibe Retreat. Um, a lot of people ask us, where is the retreat? So this retreat in particular is happening in February. So we have two different dates. The first is February 2nd through the 7th, and the second date is February 11th, 11th through the 16th. It's just going to be this beautiful, magical experience that you really couldn't recreate in this place by yourself. We've really tapped into the community of local healers and, and people out there that we've trust and that we've also experienced and wanted to bring to you to experience. It happens in 
on the Caribbean side of Costa Rica in a town called Puerto Viejo. It's a really small town with such a beautiful and rich community. Food is good. People are kind. Music is good. The weather is warm. Um, it's really a magical, magical place. The jungle is a magical place. It's very, it feels like a, like a warm mother's hug, honestly. It just feels like a deep exhale. Um, not only that, your girls, us, well, we will be there, yours truly. We um, have designed and host a Connect workshop that's designed to kind of kind of get to the nitty gritty and, and help you um, let down just boundaries and walls that we create and kind of get vulnerable and free. Yeah, and connect to women that maybe you may have never or would have never said hello to in any other in any other time or way. So it's really about making new friends and everyone is there with the same intention, which is to connect back to themselves and possibly make a new friend. And if you're there for that reason, then you're going to leave feeling so fulfilled and so happy that you came. I encourage you to go check out our reviews on We Travel. You can get real life reviews there from um, our former guests and former attendees to see their experiences and hear about their experiences. It is truly, truly a magical, magical experience. If you're looking to learn how to manifest, if you're looking to tap into yourself, if you're looking to just relax, if you're looking for your new tribe of women and friends and support, this is the place to come and experience. The Good Vibe Retreat. We get a lot of questions, too, about the the rooming situation. And first of all, the property that we take over, we take over the entire property. So it's just us here. Um, So it's very, very private. You can do anything you want, whether you want a skinny dip, you want to do cartwheels in the morning, whatever it is that you want to do. You want to light a joint, walk through the property, roll up to yoga with your joint. Like, that's totally cool. Um, the rooms are double occupancy, so we have we have a bunch of different options. So you can either share a room with someone, you each have your own bed. If you're traveling with a, a, a best friend or say you want to save a few dollars, we have a room where you guys can share um, a large bed. We also have the option to for you to stay in your own room by yourself. So you have different options. When you check out the link on We Travel, you can see what these different options are, but The accommodations are really beautiful, really tasteful, really roomy as well. You have your own bathroom, you have your own patio, and this boutique hotel is nestled in the black beaches of Playa Negra, which is this beautiful, beautiful part of Puerto Viejo that feels like, it feels like you're kind of nestled in away from the world. And that's why I love it so much, because you really kind of have to tap out and really tap into yourself when you're in these when you're in this space and you're in um, at this property. We also get a lot of questions about uh, payments. So, do you have to pay all at once? The answer is no. You do not. Um, you can put down a five hundred dollar deposit to hold your spot, and you can make payments up until basically the retreat. Basically, yeah. Um, not only that, it's really helpful that you can get contributions from friends and family. There's a link where people can contribute to your trip. Christmas is about to come up, so don't be shy. Ask your friends and family to contribute and like really give you a gift that matters and that you really want. I'm just really excited for this retreat. Every single group that we've had has been so divine. Um, each person that was there was meant to be there. And when I say women come one way and leave another, I just, there's nothing like it. I've seen such transformations on this retreat, as well as us as retreat leaders and people that, women that have also experienced um, the retreat and these facilitators of the retreat. So I really, really want to encourage you to take this time for yourself because you deserve it. You've been thinking about it. You've been thinking about when am I going to have a break? When am I going to be able to do something for myself? This is it. You have the time to really invest in yourself. And what an amazing investment. I mean, we've really created and curated this incredible itinerary, really, really dedicated to nurturing and taking care of you. And think of it this way. If you go on any other vacation, you're going to spend way more. You're going to have to think about shit. And you're not going to come back with a hell of a lot of new friends. So don't think twice about it. Don't overthink it. It's 
way worth it. And I'm not saying it because I created it. I'm saying it because I've heard it time and time and time again. You guys know if you've gone on vacation ever, you've spent a shit ton of money. You don't come back with any meaningful relationships or friendships and experiences, really. So um, take a leap of faith. Invest in yourself. Invest in your relaxation. And come join us in Costa Rica. I can't wait to meet you. Um, wait, wait, so what's your story? How did you guys meet <laughs> Uh, at a club, I was promoting. <laughs> at the yeah. club, you were yeah. a club promoter. Yeah, yeah, I was promoting. Shan was at the club. Yeah, yeah, she was. <laughs> That's actually, yes. What, yeah. cl- what club were you guys at? I just, I'm uh, this was like this was. It's already closed down now, but it was called Bobby London in K Town. Actually, the party that Mel Bobby Lo- party is that that yeah. okay? Because but wasn't Bobby London also a designer? Mm, no, I don't know about. I that. I always thought Bobby. But, L- no, I, he yeah, was. I don't know. He had a probably whole furniture store, which I think was upstairs, and then. Then there was the club downstairs. I don't no, know. No, I don't know. Pro- maybe. Maybe not, maybe not this spot. It was the, and Now it's the Paper Tiger. Yeah. With that, that melon. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I used to promote there. Um, and back then, we got shut down by the place because we got too crazy. Um, and Chan came with a mutual friend. And that's how we met. And you're like, yo, give me that number, baby. No. no. Jared, Jared's <laughs> not remember not. meeting me that night. Like I, I remember hosting, seeing no. him <laughs> and I like got this because I was in a long distance on and off relationship, a terrible relationship with the person who had a kid. We talked about this a second ago. Um, but he, uh, Jared was just like giving me major like revenge fuck vibes. Like he would be the perfect person. <laughs> You're like, yes, he's the one. He was just like, <laughs> there was just the way that he was moving. It was so, he was so sexual and so sexy. You see, is it the, everybody, everybody <laughs> when they hear this story, they think I'm the bad guy because I don't remember. I'm like, at least I wasn't like plotting, looking at you, as, you? A, as a revenge fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that one right there is going to make my ex Jared, you're, not, you're, not, you're not visibly giving husband. <laughs> not, not the wife saying you don't visibly give husband. And especially that night he was wearing like a pleather vase, baseball vest. <laughs> No, oh, you were. He wasn't visibly displaying husband. Do you I still have that chilling. pleather baseball vest? No, you have a picture? No, no. Can we insert it? I have a picture. Yeah, I do. I gotta find it. I actually just seen it the other day too. Did you really? It was me and Atheon. Like uh, I think you're you're not in the picture, but I know you're probably close by. Send that send that over. Yeah. <laughs> we might need that. I'm like a real fuckboyish though. I got like the eyebrows thing and everything. Like. Yeah, exactly. Not the not the beaver eyebrow. Yeah, oh my god, the light yeah. skin beaver. Like I, yeah. I don't know if I told you this, but really early on in our um arrangement, I I took pictures of you putting up blinds for me, topless. <laughs> but I posted that on purpose so my ex would see it. <laughs> so I definitely got my, like, it took a year. But, but you didn't. No, you was doing stuff like that. I seen you put the, my tattoos, just my hand on your thing. <laughs> you were doing the classic, you know what I'm talking Bitches about. Bitches are so the basic. Fuck girl shit. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm talking so about. basic. You know we do it, too. Yeah, you got, you had my, I had my hand on your thigh or You're something. Like, yep. And you took a picture of it, and you were like... I always got pictures in the beginning of Jared doing handiwork, <laughs> putting up light fixtures, all that shit. Handy That's work. when I knew it was real. When we were fuck buddies, and I was hanging drapes, I was like, hold on. See, look, look at you <laughs> this is more than a fuck. Look at you getting your goddess experience. <laughs> Listen, you were hanging drapes really early. Jared. Yeah, I was like, this don't make he no sense. Hanging plant, uh, drapes, watering plants. Watering plants, plants. Yeah, yeah. exactly. That's why he was like, bitch, this is arrows, huh? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> you feel me? Yeah. <laughs> What the fuck are you talking about on Twitter? <laughs> but I was giving it back to him because I actually really intentionally... I went to school for to be certified as a sexologist while I was in this long-term negative relationship. And sometimes in shitty relationships, the sex is good because it's toxic. And mm-hmm. sometimes you're having no sex. So I was the latter. We were not having sex at all. It was really negative and resentful. And so I was learning all this cool shit about my body and I had no one to practice on. So I intentionally wanted a fuck buddy. And so I knew when Jared came in with my life, I wanted to be really good at sex. So I like invested i bought robes i bought like candles i had that projector i always played whenever he came over i was like i'm going to create this like goddess womanly experience mm. i think maybe i felt comfortable asking to be served because i was like i'd cooked for you Just hang my drapes hey hey, hey sounds I, like an exchange i agree with that shit do you think that okay so now that you guys have two kids like how has your sex life changed i mean besides that it's probably less well, it's uh, interesting enough. We still have a lot of sex, <laughs> um, but I think where it is now, it's like we just got to we're either fighting back on life because we're tired, but we're like, I'm horny, so <laughs> I, we should do this. <laughs> or we're in like these very tight windows that don't really have a lot of time and we're doing it in the closet. So the sex life is still there. It's more teenagerish. Yeah, mm. it just is not. Yeah. It's not as like. 
romantical and long, like loud hour, like, oh, we're gonna go to yeah. sleep, take a nap, and then do the yeah. oh, loud thing. It's yeah. loud, not long. Okay. Not long, because also with two, like, they can't distinguish what sex so- sounds are yet. So mm. we're still in that space where it's like- <laughs> They might be like, what's wrong with mommy? <laughs> right, or just be like, oh, okay, cool. Well, well, I, I do think that though, I'm not gonna lie. I, whenever like- Daddy's hurting when you mommy. climax, like, I'm always like, they're sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> this does not sound good. <laughs> but they're not going to know what the sound is. So I don't yeah. I don't This is mind. how you got here. <laughs> right. We're not there at that place yet. But I I definitely think that it's a yeah, it's kind of teenagerish, but I I do miss long sex. I miss like a day of sex. Yeah, build up. Right, all day play. lazy. Do you like to have that ever? When they, our kids are they're, they're, I think that. we talked about this when you were on uh, Lovers and Friends that time where in that like that's one of the strengths of being a single mom is that when your kid is with the father you get that time to yourself Mm -hmm. so you still have like designated freedom time for sure and having friends and and sometimes co-parent that can kind of take the kid allows me to have long periods of sex and all day sex if i want and i mean i have sex with my daughter at home as well yeah it's definitely more reserved sex and she's asleep sex and because she knows what those sounds are i don't think she knows what those sounds are mine does she's confirmed recently you're loud. And those walls are thin. She well, how did she confirm it? <laughs> <laughs> she made a comment recently. She was like, basically like, oh, I know you guys are in love. I'm like, how do you know we're in love? Because you're always like kissing and like, mm, 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 mm. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> how did you feel? I, I felt embarrassed. And then the other day she, she said to Orlando, she said, Oh, they were watching a movie or something. I don't. I don't. And she was like, "Oh, I know. I I know they're in love." I'm like, "How do you know they're in love?" She's like, "Cause you guys have sex." I haven't even talked to her about that comment yet. And I was just, I was like, "She said sex." Yeah, she says it. She'll say it. I try not to like. She said it to Orlando. But have you told her about sex? No, but then when she said it one time, I said, "What does sex mean? What does that mean?" And she said, "When you kiss with naked." And I just. Didn't Pretty good definition. Shit. I'm like, what am I going to say? <laughs> no, it's when you insert the penis. And I'm just like, I'm just going to leave it there. I'm like, I didn't argue. I just. <laughs> just looked away? Yeah, I did. Okay. Just like that. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I'm not prepared for this part. I know I want to be honest about it, but also I'm not prepared. And also I'm like, are you going to tell it like. You, well, but if you let her watch certain things that have sex in no, them, no, no. you I'm, have I'm, to know that she's going to know. I'm, I'm okay with her being curious. I'm okay with like talking about it. I, I, don't, I don't. She wasn't necessarily wrong. I just don't no, feel like. No, but going, I'm just saying like going it's not, down it's not the shocking rock. that she. No, I, I'm a big advocate of not like covering her eyes when the sex comes on because like inevitably it's going to be like it, it all happened to us as kids. And then your parents did that thing. And then you're like, what the fuck am I missing? And you're curious about it. So I don't really do that. I try to like have conversations. I don't know if this is a good plan or not, but we're going to find out as- eventually. That's really, yeah. That's I mean, yeah. Like, that's, that's parenthood. My, my eyes got closed. I was super curious. I started fucking very early and I didn't have no context to it. And hopefully she won't, you know? I mean, I, I, I don't have the answers. She's almost eight. I, I don't know if I'm doing good. <laughs> I mean, I think that I don't know whether and whether or not covering your eyes was the reason why you started having sex no, early. No, no, I'm not saying. But that. I think that if that it's a conversation that has to be had, especially if you are allowing her and exposing her to those things, then then you also have to follow up with. Well, I, I think in the context of whatever we're watching, yeah, like for instance, we watched The Craft a long time ago, and there's a part where the guy she like puts a spell on the guy, and he's like aggressively coming at her, and we talked about it. I'm like, this is what this is not okay. This can happen, and this is when you need to like tell people no, and people like you know having conversations in the context of what we're watching. But am I like breaking shit down? Like, no, I'm not. I'm just like let. Um, she has she's very mature. Girls are mature, and she can like feel the the like understanding of the, the the what we're watching. And even for her to say, I know you guys are in love, so you're having sex. That for me, I'm like, okay, well that sounds good. That sounds like at least what you know of it sounds pretty like healthy. So I'm not going to like go too much. Now, when it becomes the things, I'm going to pull out my Yoni books, my my little Yoni books, and hopefully that's going to help. But <laughs> at this point, I'm not ready to answer those questions. And yeah. kissing naked sounds about accurate. So I'm just going to yeah. let that ride. For <laughs> you have a good amount. I mean, it's great because some people have these experiences when their kid's like 16. 
And by that time, like it takes them three years to get comfortable and then it's just too late. Yeah. So I think you're, you're doing great. That's a great. good point. Yeah. And I'm not like fucking loud in my house, you know, but obviously yeah, she heard something that sounds like moans. So I don't know. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> putting me on the spot. No, <laughs> you, that, you put yourself on. I, mean, I didn't hey, bring we this got, up. We got two daughters, so I know, you know, there's going to be awkward and, and that's parenting, right? I got a question awkward for you, moments. actually, because our daughter, Ryu, is going to be two, so she speaks. And she's known vulva since, I don't know, maybe like a year and some change. Like, she knows her body parts. If you know what your elbow is, you know what your vulva yeah. is. Mm-hmm. And the other day, I was telling, telling her about, you know, vulvas because she's like pointing to mine. And I said, I have a vulva, you have a vulva, Zaya has a vulva, and daddy has a penis. And Jared's like, don't teach her that. <laughs> well, I just think I just, right I now have a penis, too. Well, penises uh-huh. do not exist yet. <laughs> no, it's a vulva. My, no, here's my, thinking. my thinking is that also like, a vulva. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> no, my my whole thinking is this: is that like I want her to be, uh, you know, prepared enough to use the word because right now, whatever she learns, she just says them out loud <laughs> in public and stuff. So I I don't I don't mind her learning that her own anatomy right now, and I want her to focus on her, but like. Until she understands what a penis is, like, are you naked in front of her? Uh, yeah. No, I try not to be. Yes, you are. I'm naked, but I, I don't Maybe like. You didn't want me to say that. No, I don't like. <laughs> I don't like. I'm like. I'm not like hiding it, but I, I'm not like walking around the house naked. Naked. Yeah. Like I'll, I'll be reserved about it. But if we're in the shower or we're you know getting dressed, I'm not gonna be like get out the room. Right. Like, I'm not like that. But I'm not just like walking around the house naked. Mm-hmm. Um, but for for me, it's like it's about understanding what the word is. And how to use it. Well, I think if you just point, the other day, she gonna understand. Yeah, yeah just right. just the other day, she yelled out "fuck," <laughs> and you know that's where I was like, "Hey, you can't use this word." Like you have, and I trying to teach a one and a half year old not what words to use and what not to use. I'm just like, let's just keep penis out the vocabulary for now <laughs> until she's able to understand, and I can actually have a dialogue on what that means and how to use it. You know what? Like for us to be new age parents, there's like all these uncharted territories. We're like, we're sex positive, we're cool, and then it's like time. We're like, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> Run, hide. I don't know, girl. Seriously, that's that's me. At literally every week, I'm like, I'm supposed to have a platform where I'm giving women advice about things that I don't know, don't know if I figured out myself all the way. I'm like literally feeling figuring it out day by day. And honestly, leaning on my community because there's a lot of other seasoned parents there. Where I'm like, what the fuck am I supposed to do with this? Yeah. You know, so. I think that's expertise. Yeah. Perpetual curiosity, I think, is expertise. That's true. And seeking like answers like, hey, what are you doing? Resources like your older your friends who have, you know, you think are sex positive, have older kids. I think that is important to just like go to the community like, hey, what do I do now? <laughs> yeah. Someone said dick on TV and Lena was my daughter is very like, I know that. I'm like, what <laughs> is that? She's like, it's a penis. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you and the. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you, you know? I'm like just don't put me in a position to have to like don't look me in the eye. I'm not gonna encourage the dialogue. Yeah, I'm not gonna yeah, encourage I'm, gonna... I'm just gonna like, yeah. Yeah, girl, it yeah. is. Yeah. <laughs> we'll leave it there. <laughs> oh my god. Um so we have been playing a game with our couples that we've had on. And just like a little game to see how well you guys know each other. You guys have known each other what seven six, seven two thousand fifteen to know. Yep. Seven, seven years. years. Yeah. Um we had you guys Ooh, fall. Uh, we're at that place where we should not be in love anymore. What? Yeah. what? Shelf According life. to that, the yeah, seven the year seven mark? Year, Shelf yeah. life. Seven year itch. Are you yeah. Reinvented. Yeah. Who said seven years is the mark? Well, it's actually scientifically backed because that's the amount of time it takes for a couple to get together, get familiar, have a baby, and then raise that baby through that infancy and that very vulnerable stage. And then now the kid, in essence, can join like a toddler pack. And then go on about their life, and you can start the process again with somebody else. Oh my god, that makes sense. My relationship ended at seven years, and I was, yeah, it was, it was over. Got to reinvent it. Yeah, I'm glad we didn't. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> some shit doesn't need to be revived. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. respect to that. Um, do you want to start, or should I? Should I do, I? Um, but I wanted to ask you guys before we test you. Um, do you guys have an affirmation? We ask. We like to ask our. Did we tell you guys this? No, Sorry. but I from Surprise. last time I came on, yeah. I remember. <laughs> Surprise! We like to ask our guests if they have an affirmation that they use hey. that, like, you want to share with the audience that, like, pumps you up or keeps you going, to mm. be pertaining to whatever. Um, you have experience, Jared. So I want to hear what you got to say. No, well, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna change mine. I did one. I did last time. I said I want to be synonymous with enjoy. enjoy. Yeah. But I think this one. <laughs> this is gonna be an inside joke, kind of. You can let her come, Chrisia. Yeah. She'll be. <laughs> All right. I don't know if this is trolling or not, but uh, my my affirmation right now is I'm the prize. 
I'm, I'm the, the prize. prize. <laughs> I, I like, like that. that. Why are you laughing? What is this inside joke? Well, it's from DJ Academics. Oh. So that's anything from him. You should never be inspired by <laughs> a troll. <laughs> yeah. It's not literal. <laughs> yell it, uh, an actual it, troll. Him, him and his girl is fighting and you, but he's yelling at him. Is he's he like, the prize? I'm the prize. <laughs> <laughs> is he? <laughs> no. But <laughs> that was his girlfriend that allowed this language. Which it feels like that's what Orlando did to you, which is why you guys yeah, got together. See, he maybe he's on to something. You. Hey, I'm on to something. I'm the prize. Yeah. Not Orlando shaking aggressively. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the prize. <laughs> this is as far as it went. What's your affirmation? I'm going to, I don't know. I mean, hey. I, that hop? Yeah. I don't even know what is, would be an affirmation. I feel what bad. do you tell yourself to be great? Oh, man. Just get through the day. <laughs> Listen, that's Let's the one. Let's make one up right Just now. Just get through the day. Just get through Let's the day. Let's make up an affirmation right now. Like, feel like you're enough and you've done enough. What about I, what about I'm Michael Jackson, bitch? Sure, Jared. I don't know how that applies, <laughs> but. Yeah. I, li I like that I feel like I'm enough and I've like, done enough. Yeah, I always feel like, even right now, like I can hear them. There's always a sense of guilt of like, I'm not doing the right thing. Like, I'm not spending my time the right way. I should be with my kids or I should be putting this out. Like I always feel like I'm not investing my time in the right way and I should be doing something different. Um, so I think that that's, if I could have a day where I was like, I did everything exactly right, that would be a good day. You know, I, I, re I relate to that a lot. And I think, I think a lot of working parents, not just even mothers, can relate to that feeling of like, am I investing my time right? Am I doing this right? Oh, I'm, I feel pleasure here, but then I feel like I'm lacking in this other space or like you feel like you're doing good here, but you're taking away from here. And it's just like trying to find balance essentially and can feel daunting and impossible. Yeah. It's just never right. Yeah. <laughs> it's just never right. It's just never enough. We never do it. It's just not. It's just not. Oh, just right. wait till your kids can start talking. I'm mm. telling you, you're not doing mm. enough. Ooh, oh my God. Just wait for that shit. Yeah, yeah. All, you like work. That all you care about is work. I, I feel like that's what uh, her coming out here was communicating. She seems pretty say, happy. All you care about is gymnastics. And what do you think? Pay for them gymnastics. <laughs> <laughs> now I care about Literally them. that conversation. Um, no, I'm, I'm in that space with my daughter too because now she's gotten into the habit of knowing that that, kind of, that triggers me. And so she uses it against me. Even in, in, even in instances where I know I've done enough that day with her. And she knows that that's going to hurt my feelings and make me question whether I've done enough. Mm -hmm. yeah. So master manipulators. Master oh manipulators. And you got, two, you got two girls. Ah. Yeah. Terrible. I'm hoping they're going to cancel each other out. <laughs> I don't know if it works like that. I don't know if it's gun. math. Yeah. They're going to machine gun. They're going to go in. I think it is. Play with each other. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So now to our, our test questions. Yeah, here we go. Okay, I so thought that was supposed to be a positive you, moment. I now feel deeply sad. No, <laughs> just stop mine. You say you're the prize. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm the prize. That part out. I'm the prize. I'm That's the prize. Eyes. I'm the prize. I'm the prize, and I'm doing just fine and enough. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna ask you some questions about Jared Shan. Okay, I'm excited. We're 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 gonna probably do really bad. On this. I can already feel it. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> okay you ready? Yeah. Okay, what is Jared's favorite color? Oh, uh, my God. Blue? He said, I don't know. It changes every day. Oh, I should have said that. I should have said that. That he, is the truth. That's why I made the face. <laughs> I made that Mila face. They're like... I thought that out of all the questions that we had, that this one she going to get. Like, <laughs> yes. It he's does a mood change. ring. He's a mood ring. He's a mood ring, yeah. Um, what is his overall pet peeve? I would say mean people, rudeness, being rude or unkind to others. <laughs> A world, a wordsmith semantics. What? Okay, I can see that. Wait, Someone who's a wordsmith is your pet peeve. Someone who's a semantic y like who says big like, words a lot. No, no it's semantics. Like, that's like if I say, if I say, hey, um, you I'm always oh, like hold you always to, like, the devil's the advocate. No, no, no. Semantics is like is like say let's say you you come in and you're like oh man I came in in the evening and they're like no you came in at night. And you're uh, like, yeah, I was just like, trying to be right. stickler like, to like just dumb shit. I get that like I may details. have came at a little bit later than you think, but I'm telling you that I came in late or, you know, I mean, it just, it gets to the point where we start fighting about words and not like the actual issue. Right. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, what pet peeve does, is, what is his pet peeve when it comes to you? I really think. You gotta think, be able to get this one. Really? Tea in the sink? A tea bag in the sink? Yep. <laughs> 
Well, that's just to show you how perfect I am. <laughs> if that's not the issue. Show, not a perfect. tea bag in the sink. Why does that bother you so much? He wants you to put it in the trash. I think at this point it becomes like a lack of listening because he's communicated so many times that it grosses him out and that it bothers him. So if I think it's a symbol of me not respecting how he wants to live and what matters to him. Is that the what tea bag in the sink is the fucking... It's the top of the food chain. Damn. Don't ever do that shit again, Shan. No, it's gonna happen again. I've had to up. accept it. It's how I you know? grew up. I've had to just put it like, in the sink. yeah. And then you put it in the trash. Yeah, eventually. Or no. Never. Yeah. Someone else does no, it. Someone else there. handles that it's shit. It's too hot to go in the trash. It'll melt the bag. It's okay. just gonna get all messy. That makes sense. Um, what is Jared's childhood pet name? Cody. Yes, correct. You know I would get that one. Yeah, I know. Um, what would Jared say is your best quality? Quality or uh, uh, intelligence? Adaptability. Oh, really? You think I'm adaptable? Yeah. Thanks, babe. (laughs) Um, What would he say is, what is his worst quality? What would he say is his worst quality? What would Jared say? Too nice? Is his worst quality. Yeah, he's he's too nice. nice. He said um, he can't take criticism. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. I thought you would have got that one too. Yeah, I actually answered that well, one. Well, that's my perception. Knowing that of you your, were answering this question, so I, I was like, I'm going to put this in. I think that's your worst quality. No, I know, but I was Somebody answering this so that we can win. I'm, I'm trying to win here. Okay, sorry, babe. <laughs> yeah, Jared definitely has a hard time taking criticism, but the fact that you said that is a start in the right He direction. said it only because he knew that that's what you were going to say. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. He doesn't really feel that way. Oh. I, I'm, I'm not going to take criticism. Um, what is something that he's most sensitive about? Music? Yes, his music. Sensitive about his shit. Like Eric Badu. Um, I had to not take offense to that, actually. Because in our relationship, when I've, see, I've seen Jared cry a small handful of times, and I'm pretty sure they've all dealt with music. Mm. And I'm like, we've gone through some shit. Why have you never, <laughs> never cried? Never Why dropped one but I, but I, don't cry, I don't cry that often when it comes to like things like that. I'd rather just handle it, right? The music thing seems so out of control in our relationship. I feel like we can... Work you know it. what? It's so funny you say that because I was t- I was my partner. I was asking him. I was like, almost like, do you cry? Like, when's the last time you cried? I'm like, would you cry if like we broke up? And he's like, why do you want me to cry so bad? <laughs> I was like, I don't know. I equate crying to like you Caring. that you care. Yeah. And I was like, as women, I think we do that. Like, yeah. if you don't cry, then what the fuck are we doing here? Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah, but I'm men like, men cry from the women a lot of times to manipulate them. So. It's like, yeah, you you value it, and we know that you value it, so we're gonna use it against you. So actually, you should take it as like, hey, he hasn't cried in front of me like that. that so you cry in really... private? No, I don't. I I'm trying to fix the issues, whatever we're talking Do about. Do you cry like... in private over me? <laughs> no, I don't. no, I Wrong don't. Answer. I'm trying to talk. I'm trying to make it. We, there's no time. There's no You're time for crying right now. Can. Jared, say yes. <laughs> <laughs> See what I'm saying? I'm about to cry right now. <laughs> In the shower? <laughs> no. After a fight we've had or something? Not at no. night or like a welling of tears. Not like like misty eyes. Mm, bottom, like, maybe you like, got a little misty. A little Did you cry at your wedding? No. no. <laughs> I knew. She's like, I noticed. There's certain things you just know about your partner so well. I knew Jared was not going to give me the reaction I wanted. Come down the aisle. <laughs> so I'm like, we're going down the aisle together. <laughs> You, you, <laughs> didn't that, even give me a chance because I knew didn't even no, give no, me no, a chance because he's gonna ruin because I don't want to set myself up for that moment where everybody in the audience turns to Jared to see if he's gonna give he's not gonna give I'm gonna give in that <laughs> moment I'm gonna, gonna give, give. he just be like I've never heard of someone change the wedding like the, yeah, the wedding I, I, I ain't gonna do that to myself fuck that uh, come walk down with give me, me a right? chance I don't want to set myself up to get pissed off so at, just like at certain the things, aisle yeah. on the aisle you're gonna be like Fuck yeah, let go sometimes, Shannon. <laughs> let me surprise you. You know what it is, though, too? Because I did wedding photography before, like years before. And I always had the camera on the bride coming in the aisle. And then you switched to the husband, zoomed in to get that crying moment. Mm. And you knew if you didn't get it, it was like, mm. you know, the can't use that shot. That's, that's right. A, that's, that's, that's what y'all like, forgot. Psychopath. I, I, like, <laughs> <laughs> give me, the bridesmaid. Give me, some, I called give me some room to surprise you, Shannon. <laughs> Give me some blank pages, as you call it. Yeah, well, listen, you could have written in there, or you could have just lied just now and said, yes, I cried. Why lie? These are honesty questions. Jared, it's the seventh year. We need you to cry, okay? Oh, my gosh. We're going to do some new shit. Have you guys had mushrooms together? Hello, baby. Yeah, we have. Uh, And he didn't cry? No. Mushrooms usually really help crying. Hi, Hi, sweet pea. (laughs) I I actually never, I've actually, I've cried one time on mushrooms, but not. No, Shan. Well, I, no, I wasn't. I but didn't even know her. Why are you doing that? I didn't even know her then. That's not even fair. I'm just joking. I didn't you even know she existed. You should have cried the thought of your future wife and how much you 
revere and worship her. Oh Shan, gosh. I have a couple of mushrooms in my purse. I can give them to you. I don't want to set myself up. He's not going to cry. <laughs> Listen, if, if there's any men listening, fucking cry. Even if you I just do push out a tear. Do it. I do cry. Squeeze that shit out. I do cry. We need it. Women, we need our men How to come cry. How ever cry post sex? <laughs> That's not me. I don't. I don't need to cry. I don't think men sex. do that. Shan. I cry all the time. Me too. But so do I. I don't think men have you ever had a man cry? <laughs> yes. No, you, you have. Didn't. Yes, I have. You're just making it up for the podcast. No, I'm right not, <laughs> Jared. <Sharon, laughs> I'm not. It has happened. When does it happen? Well, I'm not going to share the details of this. Because this is not real moment. story. That's There's why. an intimate moment There's between no me way. and a previous partner. <laughs> And, and we got we got there. We were very oh emotional. And what happened? Like, happened? And what happened? Y'all not I together. Him. I held him. Yeah, and y'all not together because you wanted a man not to cry <laughs> at the end of that. <laughs> Suck it up. It's like, that's what's like so crazy about women. It's like we only want our men to cry only at certain times. If they cry at the wrong time, then you're a bitch. Like stop crying. What you the know, fuck are you crying you for? You know how many boyfriends I've had cry and I want to laugh? I've done like, it. And I've I'm done like, it. Stop being a bitch. And I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. See, this is why I ain't crying. It's literally, I'm so sorry. I'm like, this is why I ain't crying. crying. I'm like, I'm like, going to text Erica like this, nigga. That's why I ain't crying. You can only cry at certain moments. Yeah. When you love me, when we're having sex, when that's it. Yeah. And when, when I, maybe when we have a baby and I push the baby out. I cried on that. Yeah, you on. did You did cry when she gave birth? Yeah. Did you the guys, first one, not the second one. Did you guys have a home birth? I noticed. Um, <laughs> Yo, now you're, what is this? Now you're in labor and you're what? noticing. He did not cry. 512, baby. Was yeah, you see what I'm saying? <laughs> tears. Tripping. <laughs> Oh, let me live. You know she's a stickler. You know she's. A I see. I'm learning. She's a scorekeeper. I see. <laughs> not the first one. Not the second one. Um, <laughs> what has Jared accomplished that he's most proud of? Owning a home. That's kind of close. Credit, to what I said our, our business and our kids. Oh wow! I'm gonna say your credit score. Jared is so proud. Oh of his yeah, I am. Score. I'm, I'm actually fucking proud of that. I ain't. I should have wrote that down. Yeah, Jared's talking about his credit I'm score literally proud of all that. the time. Yeah. Okay, what's your credit score? Uh, it's, it's, it's up there. It's up there? It's in the yeah. 700s or some shit? It, well, no, top, it's top all, your shit off. What is it? Look, look, Come I'm gonna I'm say, I'm gonna say it's like 795 Ooh, right now. Whoa. And, and I'll be honest right now. Like I started at like the fives. Did, okay. did, did, is that Shan's doing or you did that by yourself? No, I did it by myself. Oh, wow. Okay. I did it by myself. I mean, I mean, it coincidentally, it happened once I met Shan, I had to get <laughs> serious and like, Hey, let me take care of this debt over here. Um, and then, yeah, I looked up one day. I didn't even know. I just checked it one day. And now you're over in the streets bragging about yeah, it. Yeah, I didn't even know. I, I was like, I was like, you know, just living life. And I was like, I wonder what my credit score is. It used to be in the fives. And then I opened now it up. Now just living life. It's also a lie, though, too, because he checks his credit score really often. So I don't know why. Now, can, like, once I saw it go up. You know, yeah, you can't be checking it that much. This is like much. two years of credit No, I don't. Scoring. I just experience okay. something like that. Okay. You know what I mean? It's, yeah. <laughs> it's worth it for Jerry. This is okay? not an adverse experience. <laughs> <laughs> credit karma. But I am proud of it. Long story short. I am proud of it, That's especially where I came of. from. Yeah, hell yeah. That's yeah. I'm proud of you. Jared. I aspire to be like Jared's credit score. <laughs> Do it. Um, what is Jared's biggest insecurity? Height. Mm. Insecurity. I don't like his height. Yeah, <laughs> he's not. He's that not short. short. He's not that short, but I feel like that's the thing. <laughs> Not like, sorry. <laughs> Why are you just putting insecurities? Hey, let me security? find out the nigga that cried was six seven or something like that. <laughs> I swear to God. Seven, he cried. <laughs> all right, all right. What, what, what? His, his insecurity. You want to try again? Yep. Oh, I I really like Jared's biggest you know. insecurity. I wouldn't know. I don't know his spelling. Oh God, the, hell yeah. yeah! But I think that you you don't care. I'm not insecure. I didn't know what to put, but I knew that there, I there was something. I would say, to be honest with you, if you asked this question a year ago, I would have said his intelligence easily. Oh Jared yeah, used to be yeah. deeply insecure yeah. about. People thinking he's dumb or assuming he's dumb. And so you have done so much work on that in the past year that I know yeah. that that's changed for you. Yeah. Like I feel like the thing that I would write usually for my biggest insecurity, I would not write anymore. You know why. Yeah. So we, like, I think that maybe we have to reevaluate where we're at, where we're at now, what we have to work on. But I mm. feel like that's something you really aggressively. Yeah. Do. Yeah, definitely. My spelling. But you still cannot spell. Nope. <laughs> I'm not a good speller either. Full yeah. disclosure. I'm writing a book. I wrote a book. I can't spell shit. Yeah, we got spell check. Yeah, now. fuck it. Right, why bother? <laughs> um, why did you I think got... you're dumb? Because you just think you're cute and people only saw like you're No, I actually I was I was pretty dumb. <laughs> no, you yeah, yeah. No, I, I don't You were hard dumb. on not being dumb was, anymore. Like, I was you aware. Read some books or what? I was aware and like I was able to like understand things but i couldn't describe it like i didn't have it. yeah i didn't have the way to like tell it and so, so what'd you do you started like having more conversations started just reading books okay. yeah started reading books started listening to audiobooks um you know being around people 
that were smarter than me often and and they had started changing. I'm sure even having a podcast helped that too. Oh, that, you know, a lot of, that a lot of talking. helped a lot. Yeah. A lot of talking. Because you hear yourself back and yeah. you see your perspectives critiqued and yeah. then you want to research and then when you yeah. before you say something, you want to have an informed perspective. So Yeah, yeah. that helped a lot. Yeah. yeah. Do you still have your podcast? No. Okay. Um, <clears throat> what would Jared say is his deal breaker in a relationship? I don't even remember what I put. Jared will never leave me. So Damn. Not- <laughs> Yo, <laughs> never. I am the prize. What would I put? I am the prize. What did you say? <laughs> <laughs> no. All right. Well, what? I don't he, remember he what wrote, I said. Having no ambis. Oh, I'm I didn't assume, get done. I didn't. Get done <laughs> I'm assuming he did not as well ambition. So <laughs> <laughs> just, I didn't, I didn't get done writing. I didn't get done writing it. You know, and there was I'm a million questions. Like, is it an S or T? <laughs> I'm just fucking yelling. Like, <laughs> it's an S. Ambus. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm asking. It wasn't he even going know, in the right so direction. Just, <laughs> I get what you're saying here. No, <laughs> thank you, thank no you, thank ambition. you, thank you, thank you. Maybe you're saying like a white girl. Like he has no ambition. He has no ambition. Did you have the He has no ambition. That's exactly what I meant. Come on now. Yeah, straight up. Oh my God, some valley ass people over here um where does he like to go grocery shopping sprouts yep classy um he didn't answer this one so i'm gonna skip it he, oh did i not do your favorite musical artist of all time oh yeah that was a hard question young thug? that's I, all did time, you say young no. thug? that's that's actually a very high one for me but but <laughs> but but like all time when you slap the all time on there like i need i need more than an hour to to, to really okay. reflect yeah, on this? Yeah, to think about oh, that. Okay. Babe, can you turn off this fan? I'm getting cold. I got you. Okay. Um, what, uh, <laughs> what is his guilty pleasure? Ice cream? Bread? Watching bare knuckle fighting? Oh, yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What does that mean? Like chicken <laughs> fights? Bro, okay, there's a there's a sector Homeless of YouTube. No, no. <laughs> there's a sector of YouTube. Um I forget the name of like the the actual place. I think it's called like TDE or something like that. They fight no gloves in like a circle of like So it's like stacks. fight club. It's like Fight Club. A circle Did you know that he's doing this on his free I time? I had no <laughs> idea. How the fuck was she supposed to guess this? I, I don't know. Shocked. I don't know. I don't know, but it was the first thing that came to mind. might be a deal breaker. <laughs> <laughs> you just didn't know. Yo, they be going at it. Why do you like that? It's a guilty you pleasure. Know what? Have you so ever, it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be something. Have you that, ever seen somebody killed on camera before, like a real life killing? Mm-hmm. I can't. I can't. I, I did. would never. When I was like, remember, like back in the day in like high school or whatever, they had that like black internet, like the faces dark, of death, and, and, stuff. and then you could. See, I saw someone get beheaded once. No, mm-hmm. it was that website. Though. Yeah, um, <sighs> like dark. Yes. What the fuck was that website? I don't know, but I don't know. I went on that one time. I was obsessed. I I went on all. I looked at every single link. I'm a cancer. I can't. I'll be crying and shit. I could barely like. I fucking watched a, a like an animation today and I was crying. It's like <laughs> it was. I can't. No. Do you have you watched Death online? I would never. Jared obviously would. <laughs> no. No. It's like why would I? Ruin why my would day? I obviously would? Because you like to watch people fight with bare knuckles. That's not killing. <laughs> Plus, even like Jared has watched death. like the, the, the Nipsey Hustle like security footage. I would never watch that. No. I mean, people are curious. I get that, but yeah, it's just no, kind of room. The circle of life. That. Yeah, that is not the circle. That is not the right word to describe that circle life. <laughs> that's like a nature, bitch. <laughs> it's that, nature. It's not good. People kill each other. Yeah, so that's why it's called a guilty pleasure. I'm gonna remember what the fuck that website's called. Okay, Jared. What is um? What is I mean? What is Jared's favorite porn category? I want to say like big, big butts. <laughs> Amateur. Which is Amateur? a broad one. That's a broad one. Yeah, I like the solo, like the, like it, like like it's almost like they could have sent it to me privately or something. Uh, okay, yeah, I think yeah. you like to watch people masturbate too, right? Like, like a yeah, masturbation. Like, yeah, not like, like could have sent it to me. Like so, like I'm kind of cheating, but I'm not. This is a yeah. thing, actually. To be honest with you, <laughs> yeah. I wish we watched more porn together. Yeah, you should yeah. do that. I don't know. I think Jared has like a separate do that in the closet. A separate relationship with porn. He like does. He can't. He can't, he yeah, can't cross. Yeah. We can. We've done it before, but it's just like I. I can't focus on. The porn and then us, what we're doing right now, are at the same time. Yeah. Like, you I just like, wash it, rub her leg a little bit. A lot, a lot, of, yeah. multi, a lot of like multiple. It's, it's, just, it's a lot of it's a lot of stimulus. You probably won't I watch ch- a lot of it. it you know, yeah. go into the sex and it'll just be there in the background. But yeah. yeah. At least you start there. Yeah. yeah. I think we did it once with the projector. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so nice. they're like they're bigger than life. I yeah. liked it. Yeah. It, it's, but it's I will nice. say, I find it very hard to find a good porn. And, and you, so, like, if you're doing it, 
and you're searching. It's true. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta like cue it up. You gotta like you prepare. gotta have it queued up. For you gotta sure. prepare or like know what films work. With Especially, I feel like everybody. women. We are like particular. Like things really like, turn us off. Particular. Real quick. Yes. And I'm like uh, I don't like her hair. I'm like why the, there was this one girl and the way she. T- fucking talked irritated me so much and oh, she, she keeps talking. popping up i don't know if there's like she an algorithm on the porn i watch <laughs> but she keeps showing her and she keeps doing, why would she be talking she's just like the way she talks she's like oh, like i don't remember what specific thing that she says but it's just this one thing that she says repetitive repetitively that irritates oh daddy me. no it's not that that's about me <laughs> <laughs> um how how old was jared when he lost his virginity in where was he 13 at his dad's shed. Yep. You lost your virginity in the shed too? Yeah. Me too. Yeah. The Mally lifestyle. Wow. Yeah. But it was like a it was like a shed that had like a couch and stuff. It wasn't like like there wasn't like shovels and shit well, this in there. This is a shed too. Yeah, yeah. 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 Nice yeah. shed. Yeah. Okay. Um what moment did he know he loved you? Well, we talked about this. Yeah. Eros. Yeah. Cheated. <laughs> yep. She says she doesn't have agape love. <laughs> um, what is Jared's biggest fear? I mean, the kids dying. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, you that's, so- that's, that's fear. <laughs> you are dark as hell. <laughs> that's fear. That's, not, that's a, obvious. No, no that, that is. That's true. That's yeah. Ad- that's, that is a major fear. <laughs> Yeah. I didn't write that one. <laughs> what did you write? That was like, that's like did too fancy to write, write spiders. No, going broke. Oh, uh, okay. That's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. I don't even fear that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know what you fear? <laughs> <laughs> What's Jared's favorite sex position? Oh, this one's a hard one. I don't even know think, the name of it. I think it's like uh, we're both sitting up. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. Well, that, that's right. Yeah. He wrote I, IDK, what the name is. I don't know. That, I, don't well, know that I told is. you I was on your on the other part where she's sitting and I got my hands on the ass. Uh, okay. You know what I mean? I forgot you told us that. Straddle, it's like straddle position. Kind of, yeah. We could even. It's better like on a chair or something, oh, so that okay. I could like pick her up and. You That's know. like her writing you though, essentially. It is, but there's something I think about there's the more ass of a, grab. A mutual rock too. Yeah, there's something yeah. about like the ass grab, like I'm cupping it. Mm-hmm. You know that just. Yeah. Does it? Does it need to? Um, would Jared prefer to save or spend money? She at these days spend. That's uh, not true. Say you got on a spending kick. <laughs> okay, I said I write spend. <laughs> you did. You don't spend money. <laughs> he, uh, who is his celeb crush? Oh, that's a um... Lori Harvey. He wrote an A because he didn't want to get his ass beat after this. <laughs> <laughs> no, honestly, I, not I, I don't, available. I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't know which one. I don't know. I don't think you have a celebrity. You probably have like an Instagram model. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah, I, I, I did. There was there was something that popped in my head, but I was like, I don't know the handle or the name of them. I just remember seeing scrolling them. That would irritate yeah. me. A bitch on Instagram would irritate me. But it, let, it, let the bitch have a talent. Like, where's the bigger celebrity at least? A bitch this on is Instagram. Your I mean, all of her talent. talent. I'm glad getting Jared to admit that other women is a, are attractive is very difficult. Because he's you might you probably beat him. I don't beat him. <laughs> why you, do you think I don't know Jared's why thing. you don't ever just be like. Like, yeah, she's really fucking hot. I have? What are you talking about? Name one. Like, I'm very comfortable saying you no. guys brought a dude to my house. He was fine as hell. That's fine. I would say the same thing, but I just. Name somebody. The right celebrity now. right now, I don't know. I don't know. Name somebody. I don't know. Name somebody right now. I don't know. Name right now. I don't know. You so, it's you're like not, telling you're me not what my favorite to color to, is. You're not attracted to Lori Harvey? Yes, I am. It's, 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 it's what I'm saying. He's like, you're like, telling me, ask me what my favorite color is. Okay, you know what I'm saying? It's going to change. Lori. It's Lori. It's Lori Harvey. Let's put Lori Harvey. Okay, Lori. She's single now, sir. You peer pressured him. <laughs> Jesus. He's like, fine, I love her. What the fuck? <laughs> Lust for someone. Lust Picture for somebody. All the time. <laughs> Let me tell you who I think is hot. Um, how does Jared feel about non monogamy? Loves. He's Likes. for it. He's for, for it. it. Are you guys still non monogamous? Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, for fake, or are you guys just we're fake? Okay, we're not fake. We're real, <laughs> but we're fake because nobody does anything about it. Okay, so it's like so having it's like, it's like monogamous by default. It's like people who buy bikes yeah, like, but never go biking. Yeah, like how the hell but they have when all the we equipment? Don't have time, bro. I can't even. I can't even like sleep eight you hours. You went straight. on tour. You have time. Went on tour. Oh yeah, you could have totally been yeah. had some, had some non-monogamous time. While my pregnant wife just had baby at the house. <laughs> Listen, and- baby, hey, real non-monogamy <laughs> doesn't wait for babies. Yeah, well, it better, yeah. goddamn it. Well, yeah, well, it just <laughs> something in my spirit don't feel oh, yeah. right. 
uh, hitting the groupie right quick while, my while, spirit. while she's at home with two babies and she just gave birth. Like, <laughs> didn't tell me. Didn't we, love. we had a couple come on who's non monogamous and she had a, a side boyfriend and she was fucking like a, a little bit while she was pregnant until she, she was like, okay, this might be too much. But like, she was pregnant and everybody knew. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, wow, that is like. It's where it gets a little, it's just like a little like. Well, he 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 later admitted that it, it did bother him a bit and yeah. he was drinking. Oh my gosh, we are honest to God. Talk about blood worshiping. We are giving everything to these mosquitoes. I'm chilling. I know. Should we turn the fan back on? I think the fan fucked it up. Fucked us up. Um, what is his favorite? Maybe put it on rotate then, so it's not just on. Thank yeah. you. His book. What is uh, what is his favorite memory of your relationship? I don't know. I would think like yesterday, <laughs> right now. Every moment. Every moment. No. If I would have wrote that shit, if no I would have wrote that shit, if I would have wrote that shit, you know y'all would have got tore up right now. What's your favorite memory? Where's your favorite memory? Uh, every moment with you. Is every my favorite, moment. Is my favorite moment. Yesterday. Today. Next week. Yeah. I wrote Costa Rica. The future Costa moments Rica. that haven't really? happened. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Why do you say really like that? No, it makes perfect sense. Oh, okay. Yeah. Is Costa Rica like your, anniver- like your anniversary? It was kind of our honeymoon. I mean, your honeymoon. That's what I meant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, who does he wish, what do you wish your partner saw more? <laughs> oh, this is that last question. That Erica been... wrote these fucked up. Okay. What does, what does Jared wish that you saw more of yourself? What does Jared wish you saw more in yourself that he sees in you? Ooh. I want to say kindness. No, that you are motherfucking Oprah, bitch. You wrote that? <laughs> I put the motherfucker in the bitch. Right? Yeah. He wrote that she is Oprah. Oh, I kind of see that though. <laughs> like you're the bomb. I kind of know that about myself. <laughs> okay, good. So. I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad. Yay. That's the... Okay, well, let's do. Did I lose my question? It's in, the, it's in your back. Let's go. Oh, I was trying to hide them. I was going <clears> to <throat> say kindness because I feel like I'm always like, I'm evil. I'm a bitch. And you're like, you're not. Why do you think you're evil? Because you have boundaries? No, <clears> I'm a. I have a. Some people are born a little cruel. I'm born a little cruel. Okay. I think Ryu's also born a little cruel. Yeah, Zaya's Jared. Yeah. yeah. Jared's not cruel <laughs> not at all. Cruel. So Maybe I'm born a little cruel. A little cruel. A little I just admitted that I cried and some boyfriends were I mean, laughed and boyfriends were crying. So maybe I'm a little cruel. <laughs> yeah, I'm a, I just know. Yeah, you're just born yeah, that way. Mm-hmm. Okay, Jared. Yeah. What is Shan's favorite color? Uh, I'm going to go with... Um... Hint, it's around. Peach? Yes. I was going to say peach anyways. Yeah? Yeah. Overall pet. What's her overall pet peeve? Uh, <laughs> you wouldn't guess this. Um, Talking too much. Yeah. Too much communication. <laughs> <laughs> You're in there right now. Yeah. <laughs> two for two. <laughs> What's her pet peeve when it comes to you? Uh... <clears throat> uh if you Can't. get this, you get ahead right now. Oh, shit. Oh, I thought the camera's on. I'd like to, watch. I'd like on, to let watch. Think. Let me think. <laughs> let me get this right. Why am I trying to get um, the microphone? <laughs> Can't take criticism? No, no. I don't know. Yeah, no head for you, Jared. What, so what, 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 Silence when we should chat. Oh, I can see that. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's, that's a good one. What yeah. is Shan's <laughs> childhood pet's name? Um... Uh, it was like Busker or something. Yeah. Like yeah. Yeah. Baby. Yeah. Yeah. You're doing good. <laughs> <laughs> what would Shan say is her best quality? Her intelligence. Yep. What is her worst quality? What would she think is her worst quality? She's mean. Criticalness. Critical. Ah. <clears throat> what is something she's most sensitive about? Her education. Motherhood. Mother. What? You didn't write that for years, huh? <clears throat> you didn't write like fatherhood or parenting. No. He's 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 the prize. He's the prize. Yeah. <laughs> he's he knows that the kids know he's it. Killing it. Everyone, yeah. everyone in the family knows he's the prize. He's killing it. <laughs> I, you know, it's, no, I'm not gonna share this. I'm not gonna share it. Share it. Because this morning when Zai was smiling at me, they were like, "I don't think she knows who I am." <laughs> <laughs> She doesn't give that smile to me. <laughs> no, she doesn't know who I am. Oh. She does. She does. Oh. Yeah, and Jared did do that. He's like, no. No, she, she knows she you. Knows you. Oh, yeah. 
she you know, she was inside you. Yeah. You know. <laughs> she just had time together. She got familiar. She's just <laughs> trying to people out right now. Oh my so, God, mm-hmm. Shan, you have to stop. You are that is you are being too critical of your motherhood. Yeah, she knows you, you, okay? She loves you. She is you. Okay. Thank you for that affirmation. You're welcome. That's your new one. Um, what have you accomplished? What has she accomplished that she's most proud of? Uh, do you think it was your degree? No? Um, the business. Mm-mm. Relationship. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Your yeah. relationship. Yeah. For yeah. Yeah. love with Jared. For love with Jared. You can already know the order of what sh- like how you think of Shan's, for, like, it's business, yeah. degree, yeah. love. Is that how it, it, you view, like... No, I, well, I guess the conversations that we would have mostly will revolve around business or, you know, relationships. It wouldn't... I don't know if we'd talk, like... I feel like I've told you that before. I'd be like, yeah, like, that yeah, relationship you, is my greatest Yeah, but I don't know if it was dirty talk or, like, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> this is my greatest That is some good dirty talk. Like oh, my God. I would do that. <laughs> I'm going to use that. Oh my God. That it, accomplishment doesn't really roll off the tongue while you're right, fucking. Right, yeah. This is my greatest accomplishment. Yes, you can. Yeah, it does. <laughs> I'm going I'm I'm to do it tomorrow. You got to do accomplish. <laughs> accomplish. You yeah, yeah, accomplish. You know. Like, do it like me. Um, what would Shan say is a deal breaker in her relationship? Um, what is your deal breaker? Uh, probably um, laziness. I don't know. What, what is that? Stump me. What is it? Boredom, stunted growth. Stunted growth. Yeah, if I feel like we got to a place where it ain't going nowhere. Yeah, this is it. There's nothing else I can learn from you. It's you don't a wrap. inspire me. Mm. Yeah. I'm bored around you. I always want the TV on or an AirPod in. We That's done. one. Yeah. Not an AirPod in. We done. Not just one, though, because I'm kind I'll of still pretend. listening. <laughs> sort of listening. Make sure I'll, you're not it's dying. leaving hope alive. <laughs> I'm really listening for the kids, but um, where does Shan like to shop? Grocery shop. Sprouts. Yeah. You got to back it up. Back it up. Back it up. What are you talking about? Before Sprouts, there's... Oh, Trader Joe's? <laughs> Before nope. you can get to Sprouts, you got to go to... How does she get the Sprouts delivered? How oh, does she get the Sprouts? You're talk, you talking about, you talk about uh, the app? Instacart. Yes. Yeah. Instacart, yes. That's not a grocery store. It Kinda. is. It's all the grocery what, store. It is a grocery, it's all the grocery store. store. Yes. Show me that. Charmed. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Girl, it's, it's bad. It's stupid how low the delivery fee is. Yeah. yeah so you just do it. This episode yeah. is sponsored by Instagram. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, favorite musical artist of all time? There's only two it could possibly be. Beyonce? No. Prince? Close. Prince. I don't know. Close as uh, Jackson. Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. Yes. Michael Jackson. Why would you say Prince like that? You don't like Prince? I know. Not, not like not Michael. Not nearly much. I like okay. Beyonce Michael Jackson. Oh, yeah. okay. Young Thug before Prince. <laughs> really? That's disrespectful. I'm going to take that out. What? Orlando, remove that from the <laughs> What? <laughs> remove that from the audio. I'm We're bleeping big, that out. For sure. Um, That's Jared's influence. <laughs> what is this? I like <laughs> Prince a lot. Don't forget That's who you are, why, Shan. That's the reason why, reason why I named it. I like Prince a lot. Okay. You can't... I'm trying to side with you. Are you trying to isolate me? Yeah. For what? She she's saying, saying that she'll choose Young Thug, thug over Prince. Prince is your favorite artist. I never said Young Thug was the favorite artist of all time. I you, like him a lot. You said he's the most influential artist on you. Yeah, that's true. But and that doesn't mean that doesn't mean I'm against Prince. Like, not saying you're against him, but ben, I would never scoff at Prince. You can't, uh, you can't put Young Thug above Prince. Yeah, no. I did it for you and you <laughs> let at this, me out. Look at the sacrifice she's making. <laughs> public, I'm, public. I'm gonna be publicly shamed and humiliated now. No, we love Prince. <laughs> we love Prince. This is a Prince and Young Thug loving family. I don't know what, what Prince's fans are called, but they're coming for you. Um the purple rains, I have no idea. Uh, <laughs> coming for you now. <laughs> what is her what is her guilty pleasure? Oh. Uh icing. Yeah. Wow. You, so you really so are you so good at this. You really do love icing. I really do. You do. <laughs> wow. We were talking about this earlier. She was like, off camera. Cake? She's like, I got really excited. We're gonna talk about cake now. <laughs> I genuinely like smoking. have a scoop of icing a day. Like it's probably a <laughs> and problem. And then she asked me the oddest question. No one's ever asked me. She's like, So do you do you like icing? <laughs> like, do you do you need icing on your cake? And I was like, she did. I'm like, <laughs> I was like, is this a trick question? I'm like, I'm like, actually icing? talking about cake and icing? <laughs> it's code for do you like icing? I'm or? like, I do like icing on my cake, Shan. <laughs> anyway. Um, but we established that you can be satisfied with a piece of cake without icing. 
that separates us. I know it's true, but, but icing no, is the cake for me. It's true. I do the cake has to be extra sweet, like icing. I just I don't. Yeah, I don't know. I do like icing. I even like fondant, which is not tasted like anything. It's just yeah, there. I like fondant. I like that too. Yeah. I like the fondant. What is Shan's favorite porn category? Is it? Is it like if we watch porn together, you wouldn't be so stumped right now? <laughs> I know. Well, you didn't get mine either. So, <laughs> um, what would it be? Uh, Storylines. I don't know. <laughs> Storylines. <laughs> well, you watch. I don't know. You tell me. I'm gonna search storylines porn today on Pornhub when I get home immediately. Storylines. <laughs> what do you watch? What's the, what's yours? You don't want to give it a second go. What's your category? Lesbian orgy outside slash. Public. These are not, these are mine that's, too, Shan. That's very specific. I Lesbian never orgy. Outside. Those are mine. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Public. I like. Yeah. Outside. outside. Public lesbian. Like my favorite porn was like a bunch of lesbians at a water park. <laughs> oh. Or a bunch of lesbians. There's such a bunch of lesbians because they're not necessarily lesbians. A bunch of people with vulvas <laughs> having sex together who are paid to do so may not even be like attracted to each other. You're so politically correct. <laughs> in a Thanksgiving <laughs> kitchen setting. Thanksgiving. Well, mine is lesbians who had sex in a gym together on a mat. It was great. And oh. I don't know if they're lesbians, but they were on that. They were then. They were. Do we that have to do episode. that now? What? Well. You can't like say if you watch a lesbian porn, you have to be like they're probably not lesbian, but they. Got paid to do so. We don't have to. I'm going off what the title search was, okay? That's what the search said. Yeah, that's that's what it is. You yeah. signed yeah. up for this category. You signed yeah. up for this category. You identified. probably like, submitted your video to lesbian porn. Like, that's not really Wolverine. That's it's just like the guy playing the Wolverine. <laughs> you know, it's like, yeah, we get it. Um, How old was Chan when she lost her virginity and where was it? Okay. I know it was at so a track. Is she so at a track somewhere? somewhere I'm going to say like 17, 18. On a track, like a railroad like, track? No, like they were competing. I so, don't remember the age, but I know. I know was it where. In the, where. Where was you don't? Remember, was it America? It was... Baltimore. <laughs> no, a <laughs> lot more exotic. Jared. Put some respect on <laughs> Not it. Not Baltimore. <laughs> that well, this has Sean been to Baltimore before? I don't know why Baltimore. I went to university in Baltimore. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I was thinking it was where, where was it? I was sixteen in Hungary. That's I was a pretty like, memorable. Uh, yeah, like, how you that? Was he Hungarian? No, he was British. Oh. Why were yeah. you in Hungary? Uh, for track. Oh, yeah. for yeah. track. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, she was out the country fucking, okay? I got right. part of it. She, yeah. her life, wow, it's very, that's a very that's a elevated, story. losing a virginity for a 16 I'm not surprised. Year old. She it was an elevated woman, even It wasn't 16. elevated, but no, it, just, it was it just like, sounds. <laughs> yeah, but it was like in a hotel room. Like yeah. I had my own hotel room. Oh. I brought him back to my hotel yeah. room. I like seduced him. It was like a really like, it was actually, you know what? It was elevated. Yeah, that is elevated. For 16, yeah. no, 16, I lost yeah. my virginity in a shed. I poured shed, him a glass of wine. You poured him a glass of wine? but like, I was like, can I actually, I'm telling a story, Lucy, because this is actually. This is the guy who cried. <laughs> this is actually a pretty bad bitch of me to do at 16. Hey. So I was, uh, I did photography. So I was running, but I was like, I'm taking pictures of all the hot dudes because I fucking love a hot dude. So I'm taking shots of all the hot dudes. So I went up to him. I'm like, you are so sexy. Can I take a picture? And he was like, oh, like I'm, I'm really dirty right now. So like, you can come back later. And I was just like, I don't have later right now. And he's like, well, I've got to go wash. I'm like, come back to my place and shower. I'll oh. take your photo. <laughs> wow. Right? Okay, 16. This so he comes back to my place. Did you know you were, you want to have sex? I had never had sex before. I know. I'm just I'm wondering. I think like... I had, must have. Okay. He comes back to my place, at my hotel. He showered. And then he comes out and he was like, I need a shirt now. And so then I handed him a shirt, but he was only cracking the door open. And then he grabbed the shirt and then I pulled him. <laughs> yes. Shan. I know. Shan, you're right? like, I want this. <laughs> was he 16 also? Yes. Okay. And I was. Like, what the fuck? I know. I was his first. I didn't know that till 10 years later. But and, yeah. and, and it was like a first first. Yeah. The J. Cole. Yeah. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Is that what they call it now? I'm proud of you. She's I'm been, proud a, of, she's I'm been proud a grown of, woman since she was a, a young woman. <laughs> I'm, you know, I'm, yeah, that's great. Wow. Um, what moment did you know you loved him? What moment did she know she loved you? Oh, when uh, we were sitting in the car. <laughs> no, <Nope>, wrong, <laughs> wrong. That's what she said. I know. I, I, I know. It's you not that. A different name. You wrote it. Stop confusing you people. Were, that's the moment I knew you were my life partner. That's when I was like, I'm going to marry oh. him. I don't know when. When did you? When did you know you? Were, when did you know you? You love me. I wrote sex oh. <laughs> only because technically Jared was the first person to say I love you to me. But oftentimes when we were having sex, I would like have the urge to say I love you, 
and I would say something like, I want to say some crazy shit to you right now. But yeah. And he would never follow up. So I feel like he knew it was I love you. He just didn't want to hear it or wasn't mm-hmm. ready for it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I've definitely said that before too. <laughs> yeah, we're getting. <laughs> okay, we're almost done. <clears throat> what is Shan's biggest fear? Uh, what is it not me working with you? <laughs> <laughs> don't leave me. No. It is. Don't leave me. Well, there's you dying. Oh, oh yeah. Well. <laughs> For there, real, that's I scary. That. There's, I'm like, oh my God, yeah. if I love you, if you die, it's going to be fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be so fucked up. I know. It's yeah. like the, the darkest, dark fears. Yeah. What's her favorite sex position? I guess the only way Jared's going to leave me. What, dying? Yeah. <laughs> Just hammering that home, babe. Um, <laughs> your favorite sex position. <laughs> Would it be like you on your side? Yeah. Yeah, on your side and like me behind you, like laying next to you. What is that called? I don't know what it's called. On my side for uninterrupted clit access is what it's mm-hmm. called. Maybe O S. Is that your favorite yeah. position? Like your favorite, like that's the one. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's my favorite for different reasons. Like, if yeah. I want clit plus dick for my best orgasm, it's that. That that it's that. that. Okay. Yeah, but I think even favorite like favorite color. Like we all have favorite colors. Like it's within what you like to wear. Maybe what brings you joy. Yeah. So favorite position. I have favorite positions that I just like for us bonding. Mm. Some that I like because I like the mirror, the way it looks in the mirror. Mm. Some that I like because it feels like you get a good angle. Mm. And some I like for uninterrupted click access mm, okay all right it's like a it's a holy grail you know you can yeah. go to it and it's yeah. gonna yeah. do what it needs to do work. yeah <clears throat> i was having that conversation today actually with uh this that couple that was here and we were talking about best sex and it's like as you get older like good sex has such a wide definition because sometimes you your best orgasm is not your best sexual experience. Mm. And sometimes your best sexual experiences don't have orgasms. Yeah. But like they're great for different reasons. <clears throat> right. Yeah. yeah, that's true. That is true. Um, okay, what is uh does Shan like to save or spend money? I mean, she probably put save, but I don't think that's true. She likes She to did spend put that. save. Yeah, she She's likes lying. To, she likes to spend that John. <clears throat> I check our bank account like you check your credit score. Yeah. <laughs> I just like seeing it. Like okay. Scrooge McDuck. I like seeing that shit. I like looking at it. Being like, like, okay, yeah, okay. Okay. Also like, You like flexing though. I like spending, but yeah. I like having. I know. I agree. There's a limit where I'm like, let's stop spending because I want to look and, and see. And let it grow a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Mm. Makes Money makes me wet, for sure. Um, what is, who is her celebrity crush? Who are these people? I don't know. Me uh, neither. I don't know who these people what? are. What? He's actually involved in a pretty heavy scandal right now. Is he? Yeah. Wait, is this was this one person? Yeah. What? This is a long name. Oh, there's two names. There's oh, two okay. Names. I was like, hmm. I have no idea who your slavery crush is. You wouldn't know. Neymar Jr. Who well, the fuck is oh, Neymar? Oh, the Jr. soccer player. Soccer player. Is he? Uh, is he? The, is he in the scandal? <laughs> so fine. He's in the scandal. What is he's he in court right now? Um, some kind of gambling scandal. Oh, and Lou R L. Yeah. Who is Lou RL? He's one of my, I'm really into Dembo right now. To, to what? Dembo. It's like Dominican oh. Republic Soka. Oh, okay. So He's an artist. Yeah, he's an artist. Lou RL. Okay, yeah. go ahead. I gotta check she out likes, Dembo. She likes the Spanish guys, huh? Uh, <laughs> so, Neymar's <laughs> not, well, Neymar's <laughs> Brazilian, so maybe, yeah, yeah there you go. <laughs> how do you feel, how does she feel about non-monogamy? Oh, she's for it. She put a heart. Yeah. Um, what is her favorite memory of your relationship? Uh, was it? Is it when we were walking and that guy fell down the stairs? What? Bitch. <laughs> no, you think I'm real what? evil? <laughs> what did he say? <laughs> when we were walking and you saw that guy fall down the stairs. <laughs> What's your favorite memory? That? Why would that be your favorite memory, Jared? <laughs> she laughed harder than I've ever seen her laugh in our entire relationship. <laughs> so what? What was it? What took these okay. to me? That's fair. That's fair. What, what did she write? What did she write? Um, the beach and Turks. Okay. Romantics. It was more romantical. It was me. Nah, it was me, him, and Ryan. Right, you. Yeah. We yeah. go every single day. Yeah. We were like quarantining in a house for a month in Turks and Caicos. Oh, nice. And there the only place we could like go to is right the beach. To and we would go every day. And like, I always remember that. That's beautiful. Um, what do you think? Oh God, how do you wear this? You did this so well last time. I wouldn't write this question. Very what, well. do you, what do you think? What do you wish I, I saw myself that more? Yeah, you see in me. Yes, yes. 
Well, I'm supposed to be answering this. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you was answering this. <laughs> That's what was happening this whole time. <laughs> Dad, I thought you was Dad. answering this. I thought you was answering Dad. this. <laughs> all, right, all right, all right, all right. I swear, I was like, are they eyes staring? <laughs> I can't really think of the deepest answer of I, all I thought, time. I thought he was doing it. I was like... <laughs> I thought, I thought, then wasn't I thought this my he was Oprah? Me too. Then I was like, is he was doing this? what she said? Oh, you, oh, you, you, okay, now I understand. Okay. I'm tripping. <laughs> he said it so confidently, like he knew the question. He was about to answer. <laughs> I thought I was telling her. I was like, is this a dramatic I was telling pause? her, to, what's your answer? Okay. All right. Wait, I, I saw myself, which you see in me. <laughs> what? <laughs> Babe, what do you wish you, you saw know? more of me in yourself? What, do you, what does Shan wish? wish yeah. that, what, what does Shan wish that I see in myself yeah. more? Yeah. Um, uh, That I'm uh, intelligent. I don't know. I could have put that. What did you put? I put sex face, Jared. <laughs> sex face, Jared. What does that mean? There is like a level of, I want to call it cruelty and confidence and just like mastery that is on your face when we have sex mm. that I wish I saw elsewhere in the world oh, okay on wallpaper yes <laughs> there's just something <laughs> like if i saw that more like when you were talking to people like just like a like a firmness like yeah it's like i'm gonna i can fuck you up but i'm gonna fuck you up <laughs> okay <laughs> i i like i like that i like that I feel like, well, I think also because people feel most, because I feel like I've seen that in men too. Like I think in women and men, it's like where we feel most vulnerable and like most empowered sometimes too. It's, yeah. Cause it's a mix, right? Like yeah. you're letting go, but you're also like it's vulnerable. You're yeah. more vulnerable. Basically you're, you're exposed vulnerability, which is in its essence, masculine and alpha and dominant. Yeah. And if you cried, extra bonus. Ooh, Jared, you get the cries. If you had that, that face, if you had that confident, hot sex face, and then a tear drop down. Damn, what is this like? <laughs> my Dizzo Washington and what's that movie? You seen that movie? No, but I will watch it tonight. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not that guy. <laughs> okay, well that's the that concludes the the questions, guys. Hey, that's pretty, pretty, pretty good. Yeah, we we did we win. I think you guys need to start watching porn together. I'm gonna. I'm, this, this, I'm not a sexologist yet. I'm in school to become one. That's the prescription. But I'm prescribing porn watching for yeah. sure. Um, feeding Shan icing yeah. at any given moment. Ooh, that would be. Sexy. You need to stop fucking putting the tea bags in the goddamn sink, Shan. Okay. Yeah, damn it. <laughs> it's not gonna melt. <laughs> Uh, okay, before we get out of here, we pulled cards at the top of the show, and we just want to see if they resonate with you guys. Yeah. Um, who pulled Yemiya the Awakening? Jared. It's a pregnant woman with the dolphins in the sunset behind her. I know it's this can't happen. This can't happen. I just got a vasectomy. It's not happening. Nobody's getting pregnant. Um, <laughs> You're going to impregnate yourself. Oh, okay. Uh, embodiment. You're vibrating at a higher frequency, so you see everything differently. This is goddess rising. You're waking up, and once you have experienced awakening, you can never go back to not knowing. The path of awakening is not straight, comfortable, or easy. You have chosen to lift the veil and have a real relationship with the divine. You didn't come to transcend this world while you're living in it. You came here to dig into the soil, plant yourself, and grow. This ascension is your divine purpose. Does that, feel, does that resonate with you? I think that resonates with Everybody. That's, that, that's, <laughs> everybody should want that. That's nice. That's, that's, that's the I whole. received that. Right. Yeah. I put I put a little tear. Oh, okay. dog ear. Do, do you see that in me? I think I'm so committed to not investing in this type of stuff that it makes it difficult for me. Oh, to be. Yeah. you don't oh, think yeah, I'm I having forgot, an awakening? I Shan is like, yeah. yeah. You don't think I'm having so that's, an awakening? I'm right admitting now. that I have to. Yeah, check I have myself. a bias. I have, I have a, a bias, bias that I have to check myself. I'm having an awakening, Shan. <clears throat> You are having an awakening. No, I'm, I'm you really are. Yeah. She's a he's awakening. Really are. He's awakening. Um, he's awakening. He's awakening. Shut <laughs> <laughs> the fuck up. Leave Shan. him alone. <laughs> shut up, Shan. Let me have my moment. All right. <laughs> we do this on the show. Shut up. 
It's our show. <laughs> Jeez. He is awakening. I could see it. His third eye. You believe now. Yeah. Today. It's your turn. Um, okay. Uh, okay. You got. I don't even know how to say this. This is. These are new cards, guys. This is the. This is the. What is this? The African goddess rising. That the Buya Namanda, the radical rebirth. Dust yourself off, move forward, and go for it again. Life is about transition and change. You will fall on your face, change your mind, and need a and need to make a comeback again and again. Release the idea that you messed up things if you aren't perfect. Stop wanting to be ready. Make new choices and deci- decisions. And the affirmation is still I rise. Ooh. <laughs> 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 I think you should you, uh, screenshot that so she can read that every morning. So Still she can, I rise. <laughs> okay. You go through transitions. I, I it resonates. This to me feels like you fucked up and now you gotta dust yourself up and try again. No, We're, no I didn't hear that. No, I, didn't I heard, heard that. that no, I, I heard, heard like, hey, you're about to get canceled. No, no. Oh, oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> she has she has social media anxiety. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, God, the comment section. I can't. They hate fuck me. They're gonna cancel me. <laughs> Um, okay, well, you know, the cards are just a reminder, not even necessarily always for you. Sometimes the message is for other people in the room, people who are listening. If that resonates with you, take it for what it's worth. And, you know, all you can do is choose what works for you and what you believe in. And you definitely don't want to force shit over here. So no, I lo- there was nothing to not like about no, that. No. It was a beautiful reading and experience. <laughs> Thank you. And, and I, I'm not, I didn't deeply soul. I'm the problem. It's okay. <laughs> Jerry's surprise. I forgot. Shan's a little bit evil, so we have to excuse cruel. her. A little cruel, not evil. <laughs> like, like, cruel. You know what? No, because you don't know think it was a Descendant song. I was listening. Fucking, do you want to be evil? Have you seen that song? Oh, you heard I, that song? I know yeah. all about this. The yeah. fucking Descendant. Yes. Yeah. When you said I'm a little cruel, that's a song that came in my head, and, and I just saw like Shan with a witch's <laughs> outfit, like uh, maybe because it's almost Halloween. Um. Anyway, <laughs> thank Shout you guys. Out to thank you guys for coming on the show and. Before we leave, we've been asking all of our guests if you could offer one piece of advice for people that are married or are considering getting married, what would it be? Um, I would say fall in love with someone who you're excited to change. Does that make sense? I l- chose Jared as a life partner because I get turned on by the idea of who he'll become. Not because of his potential, but I'm like, every version of you has been so exciting and new and cool that I want to grow old with you and I want to see what that looks like because it's like been a hell of a ride. Mm. So I'm never like afraid that Jared's going to change or switch up. I'm like excited by that. So I think I'll be switching. <laughs> you change a lot. I'll be changing. Jared changes as much as he changes his hair. That's true. <laughs> I like this hair though. It looks Thank good. You. Like yeah. Thank color. you. I'll be moving and shaking. Yeah. Uh, all right. Advice. Man, I hate giving advice. I think if I had one a uh, piece of advice for someone that's married, right? I would say make sure that you can always speak through your emotions. Like, don't let the emotion talk. Mm. I think a lot of times when you're in relationships, it's really easy for your emotion to take over and you say things that you may regret. Um, the pause button is is the greatest weapon because you guys chose to be married, so you're not going anywhere. It's okay to pause a fight mm. and then come back to it later, which mm. I had to learn. Um, and and come back to it where we're not emotional anymore. And we can actually have a discussion. You know what I want to say? I'm actually inspired by what you're doing even in this interview, which I'm like, oh, like you're not jumping to answer questions. You know what I mean? Like you're giving yourself the space to process because these are not sometimes simple questions. You're giving yeah. yourself the space to process it and then approach it with like your truth. So yeah. I think that that's like Thank a you. small example of that. But Thank you. That's by it. Yeah, he's living. He's living it. Yeah, that he's long living. ass pause after he's that one question. Girl. I was just like, wow. No. No. I just no. knew <laughs> that your type of shit was. But I was right. like, whoa, I can't because wait. the longer you pause too, the higher the anticipation <laughs> right. for like you have to come with some real shit now. And yeah, he was looking like he was really like. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, <laughs> what was he about to say? I thought Jeff was that. Too. I was like, That's the what? confidence <laughs> that it is taking to do this. I was in awe. I was like, who taught him this good traumatic I was pause? Like, I need you more good. God, that was a complete accident. Wow, I love it. <laughs> oh. oh my God. Well, thank you guys oh, so much for cool. coming on. Thank um, you for coming over. Thank, oh, yeah. uh, anytime. We'll come over. Okay, we'll, let's we can go order with the kids now. Or order food and stuff because I don't like to cook much either, Shan. We can make Jamila in Orlando cook. We cook. You yeah. guys cook? Yeah. 
A cooking couple? Yeah, we cook. That's a waste. Yeah, we got to split on? you guys up. <laughs> I know. I know. It's, it's crazy. There's Orlando like, texted me the other day. He's like, hey, um, do you want any salt fish and aki? And I was what? like, what? He's like, is this like an order I can make? Like, <laughs> he's going to deliver this to me? I was like, what the fuck? This is great. And then we get back. So this is why we have the tribe element. Because there's yes. certain leaders of certain things in the tribe. Yeah, and salt fish Orlando's and got food on deck. Yeah. So we got to split you guys up. It's got to be like me and Orlando now, or me and you. <laughs> I yeah. Think, yeah, I guess it's, and, or we can just all conjure at one house and then everybody. Yeah. Leaves. We'll start at Disneyland, see where we go from there. Okay, yeah. let's start at okay. Disneyland. We're going to Disneyland. We're going to see how much that private person costs. Yeah, we need that. We need that. That's happening. Um, so tell our people where they can find you guys. My podcast, Lovers and Friends, you hey. guys will be a guest on there. Yeah. And a re repeat guest, which is very rare. You're phenomenal. I hey. adore you. And Thank that's my. You space that I bring people I love. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, enjoy Jared Brady across all platforms. And that's where you can find me. Boom. Music and all. Boom. And you guys can find us obviously here, but also on Instagram at good moms, bad choices. Wait, good moms underscore bad choices. You think I'd know that after fucking five years. No. Jesus Christ. Tough. Um, make sure you follow us on Twitter at Good Moms. The Good Moms. The good, wow. At The Good Moms Gonna on get Twitter. This right. <laughs> <laughs> and lastly, you guys, we announced our retreat in Costa Rica. Come through February. You have time to plan if you want to get free, hang out with like minded women. There's, it's just a vibe. It's just beautiful, releasing, healing, all the things. Every little thing that you could think of, it's the Good Vibe Retreat. So. Hit the link in this episode description and check out the video because you can kind of see for yourself. And see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.